days off. Hustle real hard, no days off. Hold me, hold me down, let's we all get caught up. Young boy, like break on. You know what it is, you know what it ain't. Get it how you live, take it to the bank. Night, tight, don't get jumped. Bike, ride right, with the clip top. Had them all ops, cop me slip in the store, clerk, got the cops and roll. My pops came through in a clutch before I saw the hot tops. The image you ran the streets, so but not this long. Uh, Get out the way, but I make this money. Sky blue drip, and it's real sunny. DEA ain't get nothing from it. Jury found no guilt, you'll be lost in judge.
Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. When stress shows up, it can be hard to see. Maybe you can't sleep. Or you feel sad and you don't know why. Or maybe it's worse. Because stress can knock you down. It can hurt your health and your relationships. If you've lost a job, worry about your next meal, or have trouble making it through the day, we can help. Text STRESS to 211211 to find a solution. slash parenting. Whether you're the parent of a toddler, teen, or someone in between, we've got parenting guides, articles, videos, quick tips, and even live parent talks with Boys Town experts. Boys Town, take your parenting skills to new heights. So I keep hearing how things are getting back to normal. Really? When am I back to normal? What is normal anyway? I can't even remember. Is this normal? Seriously? No. Was this ever normal? Please, I think this used to be normal. Then I figured out, just stop it. So much has changed. No wonder nothing feels normal. But here I am, still standing. A brand new edition of me. This is no time to go back to anything. It's time to go forward and discover the new person I am now. I'm all in. For some great tips on finding your new normal, visit yourlifeyourvoice.org. 
You look familiar. This amazing homestand. Um, I'm joined by my co-host Jaden Nichols, and you know, Jaden, what is uh, what are some players for Auburn that stand out to you the most tonight? Uh, one that stands out to me the most, I will say, is Sam Reitz. Uh, she's a senior, and she's actually a Mercer commit. I have seen her play. She's very, very talented, very talented, and uh, she's a very hard worker as well. I noticed her and how she, you know, wills her team to wins and all that stuff. Same thing for uh, Scarlett Adams as well. Those two are the two to look out for tonight. Yeah, I mean, we saw we saw Sam Reitz uh, at the signing day. Actually, she signed with yeah. Mercer, so. Um, you know, for Auburn, a lot of good, a lot of good talent on this team. Um, coached by Coach Bill Ferguson, uh, assist, or associate head coach Andrew Pittman, and assistant coaches Shelby Wall and Sarah O'Sheen. And um, Harris County next. Uh, what are some players that stand out to you from Harris County? Um, I personally will say that you should look out for Madison Hayes. Um, she's a senior as well, and I. I hear great things. I hear great things all the time, and just, yeah. Yeah, and Harris County, um, actually, it does not say, or actually, head coach Michael Kinsley, and then assistant coach Danny Green. So they do not have an associate head coach. Very, very small team. But this team is actually, um, I think they're ranked in um, in the state rankings or in like the national rankings. I think they're ranked. So I mean, they are class 5A from Georgia. So. Um, like I said, an out-of-state team. We don't see this a lot, you know, from uh, or especially in soccer. But you know, I'm not a big soccer guy myself, so I don't I don't really know much about the game. Willing to learn here tonight uh, as Auburn gets ready to take on Harris County, um, and they are now introducing tonight's starting lineups for the Auburn Tigers. But we will be back before the kick or before the first uh, kick in this game tonight.
some star players or Sam. Oh, we already said we already said that. Okay, yeah. Uh, Did you say go? Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Duck Sanford Stadium. We are about to get underway between Harris County and Auburn High Women's Soccer, and this should be a good one as the uh, starters are out there tonight for Auburn. Uh, we have number 11, Mally Napper, and then we also have number 99, Scarla Adams, um, and number 33 also is uh, Claire Napper. So the sis the Napper twins are out there. So uh, it should be should be a good game out here. And then we have goalkeeper number zero, Melissa Smith. And then we have um, number 12 out there for Auburn. We have Paige Martin. And then, um, yeah, this should be a very exciting game. So, you know, I mean, first, like I said, first time doing soccer. So, you know, get to know the sport a little bit more. But uh, we're about to get the first kick here in a minute. And there's the whistle. And Harris County is going to start with the ball. And uh, Auburn, Auburn, you know, this year had a really good season. Ranked nationally 15th and state ranked 4th. You know, like I said, great season so far for the Tigers. If they can keep it up, you know, next week, big matchup between Oak Mountain and Auburn. So really uh, look for that matchup next week between the two. But right now, Auburn has uh, Auburn has the ball, and Auburn is heading towards the goal right now. So, um, I mean, like I said, don't know much about soccer, but trying to learn. But right there, that was uh, defended by the goalkeeper for Harris County. That was Cadence Gardner. Cadence Gardner, uh, sophomore goalkeeper, very young goalkeeper um, for this Harris County team. Like I said, Harris County coming in nine and four on the season. Um, you know, had a pretty decent year um, under head coach Michael Kinsley. You know, they're ranked nationally uh, 122nd in the national rankings. In the state of Georgia, they're ranked 38th. So you know, they're looking to push uh, for a playoff hope this season. And uh, Harris County gets the ball back, and they're uh, they're dribbling it right now, almost out of bounds. I'm kind of familiar with the football out of bounds, but it looks like the soccer out of bounds is a little, uh, little deeper off to the side of the stadium. Harvard is really applying pressure here right now, beginning of the game. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of heavy pressure by the Tigers. Uh, Napier kicks it to Harris County, but uh, looks like looks like Harris County. You know, like I said, they have not been able to get it across the the Auburn High logo. A hard hit right there, almost off the face of the Harris County. Uh, defender and uh, you know Auburn just kind of holding it out a little bit kind of playing you know hot potato with the ball but um, I mean this this sport is uh, I mean it's a well-known sport over in uh, foreign countries like Spain and um, some of these Spanish countries and you know glad to get a chance to watch a new sport uh, commentate a new sport I mean soccer not one of my not one of my best sports to commentate but you know it's uh it's a learning experience but right there out of bounds on harris county so auburn is going to get the ball actually no i think it's a penalty yeah it's a i think it's a penalty kick um right here for auburn so free or basically a free kick so she's going to kick it in between all the auburn high and harris county players and auburn Ooh. almost gets a goal but harris county's goalkeeper is able to uh 
able to just uh, defend that right there really well. Really good hands by the goalkeeper. That was a very close kick. I know I would have definitely ducked if that was me. Yeah, you know, I mean, our goalkeeper over here, um, you know, um, Melissa Smith, she's just basically, she's been sitting there the whole time. She hadn't really been able to have much, uh, um, like, action back there behind the goal, but now Auburn moving the ball down the, oh, no, that's Harris County. Harris County's moving the ball down there, but, you know, Auburn gets it back, getting ready to go back down to our side. But no, Harris County gets it back, and that's number 33 for Harris County. Number 33, that is Avery Hard Hardicorn, or Harbicorn, and she uh, kicks it to Melissa Smith, but Melissa Smith defends that right there really well. Um, and Melissa Smith's going to kick it, hopefully, to midfield so Auburn can get a good start towards our goal. And now uh, Oof. Napier could not get that ball right there, so that's going to be out of bounds on Auburn, and Harris County's going to get a chance to throw it in uh, really close to the Auburn goal. And number three for Harris County, that's going to be Gracie Seaward, uh, she's a junior. She's going to be throwing it in. And now it's in the corner over there, but that is, I think that's, uh, yeah, that's going to be Auburn. It's going to be Auburn's ball. Um, now looks like uh, Melissa Smith's going to kick it out for Auburn. So hopefully, you know, like I said, soccer is a really slow game. Uh, it's just like, it's kind of like baseball. It's a really slow game. And, um, I mean, you know, it's uh it's not very fast paced um, and I think that uh, I think this will be a very good game though between these two teams because a lot of defense already early in this game yeah a lot of back and forth between both teams as Auburn is advancing it in the middle third yeah right there good kick in the middle third right there and now Auburn's Auburn's trying to make a little run towards towards their side of the field and now uh Looks like, yeah, number number 99, Scarlett Adams, nice passes footwork. it back to number 12, and that is uh, Paige Martin. That's one thing I would definitely commend soccer players for. Most have very good footwork, like you see there. Yeah, Coach Ferguson, you know, a lot of work with the soccer team, especially, uh, you know, made state a few years ago and, you know, had a really good team. And, I mean, they, they could have a shot here this season if they continue to get some of these wins. Made the state championship last year, actually, and lost to Sparkman in the championship by one uh, heartbreaking loss. But, you know, like I said, have a chance to make it back there again. Um, and especially this team, this team is a very old team, you know, Actually, no, very young team. We have a lot of freshmen on this team. And, um, you know, this team will be around for a while, especially uh, with some of these freshmen staying here. You know, Ryan Ferguson, Ali Cobb. You also got uh, Lisa Anuk. Uh, you got Ali Womack. Uh, you got also Paige Martin. And then you got Abby Lawrence on the team. So, I mean, a lot of young talent on this Auburn team. So, I mean could uh could expect a run maybe this year or in years to come that's always a good thing like you said i mean you can always expect a run and if not this year definitely years to come because they'll have a lot of experienced players on the team and that always helps yeah ball right there almost hits the ref but um auburn and like harris incredible. county basically fighting for the ball yeah. and uh looks like um looks like number four um samantha uh reeds is going to have the ball right there and uh, Harris County's going to get it back, but uh, that's going to get away from them. So Auburn's going to get to uh, get the ball back here. 32 minutes to go in this half for Auburn. So um, yeah, now Breeds is going to pass it to Napier. Napier's going to uh, slowly dribble it over to Scarlet here. To Scarlet, and now lead pass. Yeah, that's a lead pass out of bounds so I think that's going to be Harris County's ball yep that's going to be Harris County's ball so I mean like I said both teams so far not a lot of action uh, goal wise because you know both defenses have really really put it on here early in this game and um, 
now Harris County going back back up. But Auburn gets the ball back. Auburn trying to penetrate there to get a goal. Auburn passes it. And now, oh, at the end, at the end, but that's going to be out of bounds. Harris County's going to get the ball. Harris County slowly dribbling it, kicks it mm, pretty far there. But, you know, like I said, back and forth, just ba- mainly it's just been a few little short kicks. I haven't really seen any long kicks. There's the long, there's a long kick right there, but defended by the goalkeeper, Gardner, for Harris County. And Gardner's going to boot this away. Actually, throw it away. She's going to throw it out there to midfield. Both teams being real conservative right now, just looking for somebody to get the momentum going for their team. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like like we said early in the game, um, for Auburn, uh, Reitz, you know, she's she's really a key player for this Auburn team. And also, you know, we got other girls on this team like Paige Martin and, um, you know, Lubella Hammer. They're really good. Lubella Hammer's actually an eighth grader on this a uh, very young team so I mean uh, now Auburn's going to get a corner kick here so uh, should be hopefully we can get it to bounce off one of uh, one of these girls heads and go in the goal kicked in by Sam Reitz yeah I'm hoping now the corner Sorry. kick and that's up and it is almost in but it is deflected and now Harris County's going to try to go but they get the ball stolen and now Auburn's going to try to reset here with uh, 30 minutes to go in this half. And now uh, Napier passes it over, but it is kicked out of bounds by Harris County. So now um, Auburn is going to throw this one in. Like you, like uh, like I've said, I mean, you know, we've had the ball here uh, in our territory. And, I mean, we just haven't been able to, uh, able to score at all. I mean, Harris County keeps running up to their side, and then we will end up coming back and almost getting a goal and then Harris County get the ball back it's just been back and forth and now uh, good pass there she kick it right there that would be a good kick good opportunity to kick it right there but she just missed it so now Harris County here comes another corner kick for the Auburn Tigers yeah I'm pretty sure she kicked that out of bounds I thought it was out of bounds on Auburn but it looked like it was uh, out of bounds on Harris County you know the sun is really uh, beaming down on us today absolutely at least there's a breeze out here, though, so it's not like 70 degrees and humid. Almost kicked in, but it's batted away, and Harris County's going to get the ball. Auburn fight. Adams fight. That should be a penalty. Just barely missed the goal, a little to the left. Be Harris County's ball. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if that was a penalty or not, like if it was a yellow flag or not, because um, looked like they basically had their ankles tangled. And, uh, you know, just right now, Auburn trying to uh, change the momentum and uh, basically get uh, get a goal here early in this game. Harris County going to take the ball out. They're slowly just passing it across the field. And now Auburn gets the ball back. And Auburn's trying to score here. And it is kicked to the, to the middle right there. But Auburn gives the ball away again. But now they got it back. And looks like Auburn is going to uh, try to reset here. Auburn kicks, and it's out of bounds. Out of bounds on Auburn, so Harris County is going to get the ball back again. Uh, like I said, I mean, Melissa Smith's just been sitting down there, like, the whole time. She She's only gotten – I've seen one deflection from her so far today. Been a fairly easy first part of the game for yeah. her. And now Auburn's going to uh, pass it to midfield to reset again. And Auburn trying to trying to get the first goal of the game here. And they're kicking it back to midfield. Just I guess I guess they're just trying to dribble it around to you know find the open open girl out here. And now that's stolen by Harris County. So Harris County, that's like I I swear that's the longest kick I've seen them kick today. Almost got kicked in the face there. And Auburn trying to penetrate there. Yeah, and Auburn right here in the corner. I guess their strategy now is just to wear out this Harris County team, just kicking it around. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I don't know much. I don't know much about soccer, but I mean, I've seen a lot of uh, 
I've seen a lot of games like overseas and stuff like that. I've seen some games on TV, uh, and especially on the podcast, uh, Tigers Den podcast. We have picked a few soccer games. So I mean, I've seen uh, some of that action in soccer, and um, it's a. Uh, I mean, it's pretty fun to see some of the fan fan interactions and stuff like that in these uh, soccer games. Auburn now throwing it in, and still a little ahead by Harris County here. Ah. Uh, Looks like it's a turnover there by Harris County. Should be Auburn ball. Corner kick, I think. Yeah, I think this is going to be a corner kick for Auburn. And that's going to be number four, Samantha Reitz, kicking it for uh, for Auburn. So maybe she could curve one in there and get it in. She goes for the kick, and it is up, and it is deflected. And Harris County basically just punts that, and that – I think that's going to be out of bounds on Harris County, so yeah. Throwing it in. Quick throw. In. Ooh, oh, Very quick throw in. A lot of uh, physical play so far, you know. I've Absolutely. I've seen, seen a few girls go down, get tripped. Harris County gets the ball back, but then oh, Auburn gets it back. The ball. Now Auburn is going to uh, give it away, but no. Or, yep, they're still going to give it away, but stolen by Auburn. So now... Uh, four Harris County players basically surrounding Auburn there. And Auburn's just going to do the same thing they've been doing. They're just going to keep tapping it around, see if they can maneuver it in there. Auburn, you know, trying to, like I said, trying to get that first goal of the game here. And now Auburn, they are um, back to midfield again. I will definitely give Auburn their props, though. They are clearly a well-conditioned team. They have yet to tire out and just keep passing the ball around, looking for the open person. Yeah. Get that shot oh, there, and it's good. It is good. Good job there. That is a goal for Auburn. So it is one nothing now, and that was Louisville Hammer with the goal. So Auburn is up now one nothing against Harris County. What a shot there, as you see on the replay. Just gives it gives it to Lou Bellhammer and Lou Bellhammer just hits it there from the middle and absolutely insane goal. Now they're gonna switch the rotation and bring in some of the girls that were on the bench. That's Lou Bellhammer there starting the momentum for the Auburn Tigers. Hopefully they can keep riding that hot hand. Keep on getting just expand the run pretty much. Yeah, I mean if you look at uh, if you look at Auburn's last game, one six to one. So I mean this team is capable of scoring a lot of goals. And fast. Yeah, and um, now Harris County dribbling it up the field. And uh, they're almost running away with it, but then Auburn Layla, hits it out of bounds. Yeah, Bayless Simmons kicks it out. Harris County ball. Yep. And 24 minutes to go in this half for the Tigers. And, uh, you know, I would like to see some more goals for the Tigers uh, tonight. And Auburn is going to let that roll out. And um, now it looks like Melissa Smith's going to get some action finally after I think this is about like 13 minutes of not seeing the ball down there in that end. So she's just going to kick it away. And Lou, or Melissa Smith with the, with the kick to about midfield almost. And then now Harris County almost gets it back, almost kicked her in the face there. Harris County does get it back, but then Auburn is going to – uh, start penetrating towards that side of the field and uh, Auburn just you know dribbling it out a little bit trying to get it over to their side um, now just going really fast with it uh -oh, pass. yeah over to Scarlett uh, Adams two. might be Got too scrap for the ball there yeah I thought it was going to be too uh, like too long there thought she was going to have to like reach out an extra step or, may or two to possibly get that ball right there but now um, Gardner is going to be kicking this one away for Harris County. So now she will be punting this away. And that is right to an Auburn player. And now that's going to be out of bounds on Harris County, oh, I think. Save. Wait, actually, good save there by Harris County. And it's out on Auburn. That'll be Harris County ball at about midfield. I think that was out on number 17. Um, Trammel. I think it's out on Trammel. And now Harris County's going to throw it in. 
from the home side. And I think, that, is that a penalty? That's a penalty. Yeah, that's a penalty. So Harris County is going to be in great position here uh, to possibly score their first goal of this game and possibly tie it up against the Tigers. And, um, you know, Harris County, like I said, hasn't seen their side of the of the field yet today, especially with uh, Auburn's defense uh, being really, uh, really physical today. And now Auburn uh, going back towards the middle of the field. I think they're going to reset possibly and just, you know, try to do what they did earlier where they uh, worked it in and got a pretty, uh, pretty easy goal. And now uh, Auburn... Back to the same place they hit the goal from Long earlier. Shot, and Long it, shot, and it is. I mean, the field goal was good, but not. Yeah, the field goal is good, yeah. but not the actual goal. If we were playing football, that's three points. Three but points, yep. That is not happening right now. Tigers, that's what, their third missed goal. Yeah. They've actually kicked a few goals from that spot and just hasn't been working for the Tigers tonight. So, I mean, Coach Ferguson probably not happy about that right now. Ooh. But Auburn gets that? the ball back. And now Auburn possibly, it looks like Auburn's going to try to keep it over here. I thought they were going to pass it out to midfield, but Auburn going to try to kick it from the corner there. Oh, not quite. Just batting it around there inside. And now possibly a long shot. Oh, she tried a little little trick move there, tried to get fancy with it, but just couldn't, um, just wasn't enough. Harris County gets the ball back, stolen. but stolen at midfield. Passed up ahead. Oh, it's gonna be Claire. Yep, Claire's going to pass it, and it's going to be stolen, and it's going to be stolen again. And now, oh, that was that was not not a hard enough kick for the Tigers right there. Just a little, basically a little tap. Looks like she was trying to maybe pass it, but there was no one there. Yeah. So I mean, right now the Tigers in one goal, in um, in only 20 minutes to. They've played 20 minutes here in this game, and, you know, just uh, usually they start off pretty strong with some goals. Um, you know, like I said, the past few games, if you look at it against Prattville, 3-1. Against Enterprise, 6-0. Against Central, 6-1. So, I mean, they've scored a lot of goals here recently in this in this uh, last three games. So, I mean, it's been... Um, it's been a lot of goals here, like I said, for the Tigers lately. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe in the second half they'll come on strong and score a lot. So, and now. Looking inside, scrapping for the ball. Yeah. Now it looks like uh, Auburn's just trying to. Oh, that was a, that was going to be a good pass right there, but just stolen by Harris County right there. Great read by the Harris County defender. And, um. Now Auburn's going to try to work it back inside, but I think that's a penalty on yep. Harris County. So now that is going to – I think that's their second penalty, and I think Auburn has about two penalties too. So It's been a pretty even match so far. Yeah. Like I said, like we said earlier, it's been a physical match so far. That's why it's 1-0 because both, both goalkeepers, Gardner and Smith, have both been um, defending their spot well. And now I think this is going to be a – this is a penalty kick, I think, from the 20-yard line. And now that's going to be batted back, and Harris County is going to get the ball with a chance to run with it. But it is stolen away by the Tigers again. The Tigers are just going to kind of slow it down and try to, um, you know, they're going to try to just work it in. I mean, there's no need to really rush. You already got the lead. Just play with, play with, play with patience and then let your game speak for itself. Yeah, and the thing about soccer is there's no shot clock or game clock or anything, so you have enough time to, you know, set up a play and just, you know. Harris County pushing up ahead. Layla Simmons comes sprinting oh. in and kicks it out. Looked like she got shoulder checked right there. At the Probably end. did, yeah. Because it looked like uh, Harris County, you know, trying to get that ball accidentally got shoulder checked, but I think, it, yeah, it's going to be Auburn ball here. No, it's actually going to be Harris County ball. Harris County's going to be throwing it in. I thought it was off of uh, Harris County, but looks like Auburn hit it out. And now Auburn bringing in another set of defenders. And Harris County going to throw it in. Can't find anybody. 
and Auburn almost stole that, but Harris County fell down right there. So, I mean, now Melissa Smith's going to kick it out. Or she'll just kick it kick it into the uh, to Auburn. And that's going to be number 17, Trammell. Trammell's going to be kicking it. And now um, Harris County, they're going to they almost got the ball back right there, but Auburn's going to be going down the down the field. Auburn almost outruns the – she almost overran the uh, kick there. Good, good pass. Good pass. That was a Very great pass. pass. Now Auburn running with it. Auburn it up. trying to get down. Oh, good pass kick. Collected. Not too far out, though. Yeah, you know, like, like I said, the Tigers have plenty of chances to score, but just not um, – just haven't executed. Stepped up there. I think it might be a corner kick, possibly, if it's not out on Auburn. Oh, that is Harris County throwing Harris it County in. Harris County ball, yep. So now Harris County with a chance, like another chance to go Another score. steal. Had butt steal there. Ooh, tripped. Another steal. Oh, that's definitely a penalty. Yeah. That's either I think that might be a. That's got to be a penalty. Could have been a red flag. I don't know. Yeah, now uh, looks like Auburn. Uh, Auburn might get a penalty kick here again. That's the that would be the second penalty kick for the Tigers tonight. And, um, yeah, that's going to be a penalty kick. And she headbutts it, and it's almost in, but just not enough there. Just on the outside of the goal on that left side, you know, almost almost was able to headbutt it in, but I think it, the spin on the ball just wasn't enough to get that in the goal. Cadence Gardner now about to kick it off for the Harris County. Yeah, good kick there by Gardner Ooh. and headbutted. High steal. Very high steal. And that's Auburn is going to try to put it back to midfield to where they want it so they can just work the ball in. And now... Auburn trying to find Hammer here, having the only goal for the Tigers. Yeah. Hammer maybe could get another shot at it if she could get inside there and uh, watch out behind you there. Harris County trying to steal the ball. Almost out of bounds. Taken away from Hammer. Yeah, Hammer tries to get it back. Just can't, just quite can't get that. And now Napier's going to try to steal it, but just she can't get that. And then right there, that was number 10, Hammer. Hammer could not get that one right there. Auburn's pressure has not left them, honestly, since the first kick. They've just been, keep, they kept pressing and pressing Harris County, and they keep turning the ball over time and time again. Yeah, Martin. Martin had the ball. There's another one. Now off of Sam Reitz. Yeah, Sam Reitz is going to try to pass it over to her teammate. And that is number 24. That's 34. 34. Bishop. Sons of mine. Number 34, Bishop. Yeah, she's she's going to try to uh, get it. But that is out of bounds. And I think that's, that's still going to be the Tigers ball. Yeah, Auburn ball. Passing to Sam Reitz here. And kicked back out by Harris County. Yep. So Auburn getting plenty of chances. They're going to switch a ball there. And now Auburn is just going to – if I was Auburn, you know, I'd do what they've been doing where they pass it out to midfield and just try to, you know, work a play in there and try to get it in and score. Stolen now away. Stolen away. Harris County going inside. Kicks Good it defense. off Sam Reitz. of Reitz, but Reitz gets it back. Now – oh, that would be a good opportunity to kick it there. Even that's a really long kick. Oh, that's a good one right there. Auburn just trying to work it back. Almost stolen there. Now Napier's going to kick it. Almost. Uh, that's what, three steals now? Or uh, saves now? Three three or four saves there for Gardner uh, for the uh, her hustle is really County. Her hustle is really keeping uh, Harris County here in this game. I Even mean, though it's yeah. still just one one goal, but, I mean, the hustle, you can't yeah, because like, admire it. Like we've seen, I mean, Melissa Smith for us has not done – she's not really done anything – uh, tonight she's had one save tonight for the Tigers. So I mean, yeah, hasn't had much much action on her end. Yeah, 
Well, that's also because Auburn's defense has been very physical tonight um, yeah. on this side of the field, especially with, like, you know, all these steals. That's where there's been almost over 30 steals already. I mean, as a goalie, you want to, of course, play in the game and enjoy it, but you also don't want the defense to be so bad you have to overwork yourself, and she's been getting the easy load tonight. Yeah, I think that was a penalty there. I think that was a yellow card on Auburn. And now... Harris County is going to basically just, it's a free kick here. Harris County kicks it, almost a headbutt, but just can't quite get that. Napier, I think, kicks that out of bounds. No, that is going to be Auburn ball, Harris County. Napier just missed it right there, so good thing Napier missed it, so now Auburn can get the ball back and get a chance to score. There's 12 minutes to go here in the first half of action, and Auburn is up one nothing at Duck Sanford Stadium. Oh, good move there. Good move there by uh, Very fancy. Counts. Now trying to kick it up. Reed still is. Long pass up to Martin. Ooh. Long, long pass. Oh. Slips. Slips on the turf there. Napper takes a really big slide there. Yeah. And now Harris County just trying to do what Auburn's been doing, you know. Trying to dribble it out and just get a play. Get, trying to get down there to their side of the court to score, but uh, their side of the field to score. But, um, yeah, it just hasn't really been hasn't really been um, much action for Harris County. Harris County trying to go fast now. Ooh, stole. We're coming up. Stolen away by Auburn. Yep. Stolen Kicking away by Bishop. Ah. Pass behind their teammate there. Napper. Now Napper's trying to get it, but can't quite get that, and that's going to be Harris County's ball. Yeah. Actually, wait, no, I think it might be. No, they're switching. If she put the ball down, I was wondering if they were going to switch or if Auburn had the ball, but Harris County's going to try to get it in. She throws it, and that's going to be almost stolen. It is, it is stolen almost by the Tigers, but can't quite get it now. It is stolen by Reitz, and almost stolen back there by Harris County. Auburn's defense has had a lot of hustle here. I mean, almost every time Harris County pa passes it in, it seems to end up in a steal. And there's another save there for by Gardner. Gardner. yeah. No, like you, like you said, I mean, down there, down there earlier you saw that uh, the Tigers forced uh, Harris County, they like passed it in and Harris County wasn't able to pass it in. Uh, they took them about 10, 15 seconds to pass that in. Same team. You got to watch out. Somebody. Yeah. You got to call for that. Using there between teammates. Now Auburn trying to penetrate Stand towards eight. the goal. Reeds. Pushing it up. Pushing it almost, but uh, just slow. Just a very slow kick there. And, you know, Auburn Gardner, another save. Gardner's going to punt that away. Yeah. I think, honestly, she should try out for the football punter as well. Yeah. No um, offense to Tyler McKinnell, but, you know, I mean. Like, it's a very deep, deep, very deep punt. But, um, I mean, now Harris County's going to punt that or throw that back in. And now, um, now Harris County is going to, uh, try to score, but Auburn gets it back. Almost scored there by the Tigers, but that is going to be over to the left side again. Another missed opportunity for the Tigers. And uh, now, Coming like I said, Tigers, getting close to the end of this first half, eight minutes to go. And um, I think this is going to be a corner kick for the Tigers. And uh, hopefully Auburn can get a goal here. And yes, it is a corner kick. Almost. Almost kicked in by the Harris County player, and she is shoved. So that's going to be a yellow card on Auburn, and they are going to the other side now. And uh, Harris County has a chance to score here before this half ends. But you know, right now Auburn defense really pressuring 
Harris, Harris County. Almost, uh, almost stolen away there by Harris County. Good move to the outside. Amazing footwork. Pass over to Hammer. Going down the middle. Hammer kicks and it from the middle, but Gardner, again, yeah. just... Those receiver hands, honestly. Yeah, I mean, Gardner, again, just just stopping the ball. That's five saves tonight for her, so really good uh, good game so far for Gardner, uh, saving her team from giving up possibly six goals or more. And now Harris County almost stolen away by the Tigers. The Tigers steal it there, and that's Counts that stole it. And now Bishop's going to be dribbling it down. And uh, now out in the corner down there, and that's going to be Harris County ball. Uh, I mean, Jaden, what have you seen so far from these teams in this first half that has uh, intrigued you? Uh, I will say that Auburn's defense has just been nonstop. I mean, all the pass, all the times Harris County passes it in, and it's just stolen. Not if not on the initial pass, not too long after, and. Uh, just finding open players. You know, they got hammered to get that first goal earlier in the first half. Yeah. That's just been what's, re what's really been helping Auburn. And then Harris County, honestly, at this moment, is running through Gardner. I mean, all the stops she has is just – it could be like 10-0 right now if it wasn't for her. But – Yeah, penalty right there. Close. Penalty right there by Auburn. But like you said, I mean, yeah, if uh, – if Harris County, if Gardner wasn't so uh, being so good right now, you know, I mean, we would, we'd be up 10-0 right now. But Tigers also, their defense, like you said, has been really good, and I think, uh, I think this could set up to be a pretty good game in the second half if uh, Auburn runs away with it. And now Auburn almost, almost threw it out of bounds, but Auburn's going to uh, contain it there, kicks it to the corner almost right there out of bounds, but. We're going back to the midfield, but Harris County steals it. That's I think that's the thing with Harris County. They kind of like whenever they steal it, they're slowing down and they're like not going for it. But right here, they're going for it. Harris pushing County for it. pushing and tries to kick it, but off Napier and almost. But that's going to be a penalty. Ooh. Visibly upset there. Uh, it's going to be a free kick from the dot. Um, she was fouled inside the goalie box there. Obviously frustrated. You know, saw her slam her hand on the ground there after. Uh, I mean, I know it was an accident, but, you know, a lot of frustration there. So it's going to be a penalty kick here. Hopefully Melissa Smith can, um, you know, get a get a block here, get her first, first, actually second save of the game. Because yeah. I remember earlier in the game she had one, so. In the first bit of action here as she kicks it and it's a goal. Goal, goal. Harris goal. County. Harris County is going to get on the board there after the goal by Seaward. And uh, you know, five minutes to go here before half, and Harris County has tied it up. So you know, I mean, it's getting really. Auburn needs to go score here before half so they can have a two-one lead going into the half. They're going to start from midfield, and Auburn's going to try to work their way towards their side of the field. And whistle has not been blown yet. Switching players here, Harris County is. And uh, now the whistle's blown, so Auburn going to get the ball here. Auburn just slowly going. Napier's trying to kick it deep, and Napier kicks it too deep, and that's going to be out of bounds. So Harris County going to get a chance to possibly go up 2-1 to one here uh, with about four minutes, almost four minutes to go before half. Just a little too much power on that kick. Got a little trigger happy. Hopefully they can stop him and get the ball back on defense. Yeah, and now, uh, like I said, Harris County, they're going to pass it in. Actually already have passed it in, so... That was a penalty on. penalty on Auburn here. Um, so I, that's not the first time. That's I think it's three or four penalties on the Tigers. That's one thing that might hurt them if they were to lose this game is the penalties. Bad Stolen. pass there. Bad pass there by Reitz. But um, now the Tigers going to try to stop Harris County from scoring. That's almost out of bounds. Tigers almost steal it, but out of bounds on the Tigers. So Harris County gets to keep the ball. 
stolen away there by the Tigers. And there's a penalty on Harris County. Getting a chance to move the ball up here. And yeah, now... Uh, deep kick there by Simmons. Very deep kick. That was not... Uh, not a good kick almost because it, Harris County almost stole that away. And then Harris County, oh, gets it to the girl right there at midfield. And now Harris County is going to be taking it up from midfield, but almost stolen away. It is stolen away by Bishop, and Bishop's going to try to, you know, get Auburn in scoring position, but can't quite get him there after throwing the ball or after kicking the ball away to Harris County almost a a hundred foot there so couldn't quite get it yeah, almost green grass stolen by Bishop passed over to Napper oh up ahead to Reeds passed there by, Re or by Napper to Reeds and Reeds trying to fight for it now Napper's going to contain it Napper's sur almost surrounded by uh, Harris County players and that's going to be Auburn ball after Harris County kicks it out so now Auburn with a chance to score in their territory. Passing around again, as usual, out in the corner to Bishop. All right, yeah, Bishop now. Not a bad of a pass. Uh, out to Bishop. She shoots and... Almost, man. but Gardner again. Gardner's just everywhere. I mean, you can't get past her. Yeah, I mean, they've tried everything. They've tried corner kicks, everything, and it hasn't worked. The only goal, like you said, was uh, hammer. Simmons almost gets that there. And now Auburn going to have the ball by their home bench. If I'm Harris County, I understand that players need their time to rest, but... I mean, even like all throughout the second half, I would keep Gardner in because she's really been helping out on defense and keeping them from scoring, which could be a double-digit lead if she wasn't even in there. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you might not have any other choice because uh, she's the only goalkeeper on the team. Auburn has two goalkeepers, so, I mean, um, but Harris County has one goalkeeper here. But, um, I mean, right now, Auburn getting ready to... Uh, Hopefully get a goal here with about a minute to go before half. And Auburn trying to, uh, trying to, uh, you know, get a steal here. And uh, right now, Auburn just trying to slow it down. The ref almost gets hit. Good dodge there by the ref. But um, now I think that's going to be a penalty on Harris County. With Coach Ferg there with the kick. Picking it back in. It's going to be a kick from about 30. Harris County with a lot of pressure here at the end of this game. Or the end of this half. A lot of yelling from the Harris County head coach. Absolute just passion. For the game. He's trying to get this lead here before halftime. Auburn's kicking it away. Bishop Looking for a long shot. With it. Don't get it. And that is going to be half. So it is 1-1 after the first half. And we will be back to break down the first half and preview the second half in a minute.
take this time to thank our sponsors from the Legacy Club, Amalgamated Investments, Donaldson & Donaldson, Attorneys at Law, J1FA, Kia of Auburn, Vince Toyota of Auburn, Hatchin McChesney, Moore's Mill Animal Hospital, The Nichols Family, Moore's Mill Dental Care, Northcutt Realty, Titan International, Wellstar Health Systems. From our Champions Club, Adams Construction Associates, Auburn Tire Service, Berkshire Hathaway Home Service, Preferred Real Estate, Adam Miller Construction, Greenwood Growers Incorporated, ISI Therapeutic Family Services, Surgery of East Alabama, Stacy Norman Architects, South State Bank, the Orthopedic Clinic, Tim Jones Farmer Insurance, from our Tiger Club, Allen Orthodontics, Auburn Dermatology, Park Hall Automotive, Eric McDade State Farm, East Alabama Custom Plumbing, GL Pack Incorporated. Ferguson Psychology, J. Wark Plumbing, J.F. Smith Group, Keto Gardens Nursery, Law Offices of Robert Sims Thompson, Thalamus LLC, Isles Pediatric Dentistry, Living the Dream, Hello Mushroom, Porter Properties, Shelly Orthodontics, Skyview Storage LLC, South College Veterinary Clinic, Stone Martin Builders. Thank you for your sponsorship. You can't tell how someone feels just by looking at them or what they share online. To the outside world, our lives may look perfect, even if in reality they aren't. I'm always worrying about doing well at school, and with the end of year test coming up, I'm not sure how much longer I can cope. My thoughts swarm around my head, sometimes keeping me up all night. Some days it's just all too much, and I feel like I'm lost in space. When I did badly on one of my tests, I just about kept it together until I got home. Then I broke down crying in front of my mum. She listened for a bit, and then she told me that, just like physical health, we all have mental health. It's our feelings, our thinking, our emotions and our moods. She then said that feeling down, angry and stressed is a normal part of life. Just like it's normal to feel happy, confident and carefree sometimes. We all have positive and negative emotions that come and go based on what's happening around us. These are everyday feelings. Good mental health means experiencing negative emotions. It's not always about being happy. Mum can relate to the feelings of stress. So when Mum suggested I take a break from everything and do something I enjoy, I actually took her advice. So I made myself a hot chocolate, snuggled up in a duvet and watched a film. And you know what? Afterwards I felt so much better. Mum should take her own advice. Most of us only ever share the good things. We don't like to share how we really feel. Every morning when I wake up, negative thoughts stream through my head. Getting out of bed and pretending I'm okay takes all the energy I have. As the day goes on, the negative thoughts turn from a stream into a river. The water rushes through my head so loudly it's hard to concentrate in lessons. And some days it's so bad it feels like a waterfall that's trying to pull me over the edge. Everything is so overwhelming. I didn't think my friends would understand if I told them how down I was feeling. But when Sasha opened up to me about how stressed she was feeling, I told her. I wasn't sure how to bring up how I'd been feeling, so I started by saying that I didn't feel like myself. Just her listening made me feel like she understood. She told me some things that had helped her, so I tried them too, but it didn't make much of a difference. Even when I tried to be around my friends, I felt alone. The things I used to enjoy weren't fun anymore. I was really worried about Andre and not sure what to do. He was quiet and wasn't hanging out with us like he used to. So I asked our head of year for some advice. 
he suggested I get Andre to speak to him since his negative feelings weren't going away. I didn't want to speak to our head of the year, but I also didn't want to keep feeling so down, so I went. He said that sometimes we have overwhelming feelings that can be more intense than our everyday feelings. These feelings hang around for a long time and change the way we feel, think and behave. They can stop us doing what we want to in life. That's what I was going through. He also said that if we're physically unwell, we let people know, we ask for help. It should be no different with mental health. Sometimes our overwhelming feelings are brought on because of things in our life. Sometimes they happen for no reason at all. After hearing this, I felt much less alone and it felt good to talk. Scientists have found exercise can help when you're feeling low. So our head of year encouraged me to sign up to the school football club, which Sasha was already in. I still have days when the river is there, but now I'm beginning to understand my mental health. I'm learning how to cope. Our head of year reminded me that my friends, family, teachers, and lots of others at school are there to help just as much as he is. I had no idea the people around me could be so understanding. And while it's not always easy to talk about my mental health, the person I'm talking to might be able to help. If you don't feel like talking, that's fine. You could try writing, sports, reading, art, music, playing with your pet, whatever makes you feel better. If you're the person someone talks to when they're struggling, just listen with no pressure or judgment. You don't have to have the answer. If you feel unsure about anything, you can speak to a trusted adult. Talking about mental health doesn't have to be difficult. After all, it's something we all have. Hello and welcome back to Duck Sanford Stadium. I'm Max Mesman. I'm joined alongside my color analyst, uh, Jaden Eccles. Jaden, that was an exciting first half. I mean, one tied at halftime. I mean, this Auburn team 
you know, the last couple of games at home, they haven't even allowed a point. Any time I've commentated for them, at least, they have not allowed a point. You look at their last couple of games, they lost to Central, or they beat Central, excuse me. Mercy ruled Central 10 nothing. and they also beat Smith Station 9 nothing. They haven't allowed a goal in their last, uh, in five out of the last six games, they have not allowed a single goal. Uh, with Harris County getting that PK, you know, the girl got undercut. It was the right call. But how does Auburn respond in the second half against the Harris County Tigers? I mean, they did a very good job all throughout of just, like, wearing down Harris County, passing the ball around, you know, that kind of stuff. I mean, do it again here. Didn't like, If it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know. Yeah. Uh, just stay with that. And, of course, when the time is right, shoot it. And, I mean, you got good shooters, so you'll be fine. Yeah, and if you're just now joining us, uh, a little bit of a game recap so far. Early on in the game, Lulabelle Hammer was able to score off of a nice cross. And then, obviously, the PK with about 10 minutes remaining in the first half by Harris County. And now, that's where we stand at 1-1. Let's get into some second-half soccer. Harris County is going to get a throw in here early on. And, you know, looking into the second half, what does Harris County need to do to try and possibly pull the upset uh, against the Auburn Tigers? Uh, definitely push it when the opportunity presents itself. I mean, they have plenty of chances where it was like one on one and they just kept losing the ball time after time. If you can keep the ball and, of course, you know, get past your defender, you'll be fine. You have a one on one against the goalie. Yeah, and you can see it right here. Harris County easily making it into Auburn's attacking third. And we see Mally Knapper jostling with the ball here. And now it's going to be stolen away once again by Harris County. And they're going to call a penalty against the Tigers of Harris County. And so Auburn is going to get – actually, I think they called it out of bounds. They just kept playing. So it's going to be out of bounds on Harris County, a throw in here. Now Auburn with the ball, surrounded by two defenders here. And they're going to switch the field here over to Lindsey Anuk. Anuk, one of those young players that Reed mentioned – or Reese mentioned earlier, freshman, starting here. Now we see Claire Napper going down the sideline. She's looking for a cross. She's going to cross it in here, and that's going to be smartly tapped away by the Harris County Tigers. That was number 17, Molly Lewis, the junior defensive back. And now that's going to be a corner kick for Auburn. So Harris County not out of the danger yet, but let's see if Auburn can finally capitalize. I noticed that was something you and Reese kept mentioning during the first half is Auburn's had those opportunities, yeah. but just hasn't been able to capitalize. So it's been partially due to Cadence Gardner who had a heck of a first half for the Harris County Tigers. We see the cross here, and that's going to be headed, but it's going to be just over the goal. Just nice attempt there by Mally Knapper, the senior. So a goal kick here for Harris County. Oh, 30 yards, pretty good kick. Yeah, these girls from Harris County, I mean, they're no, they're no slouches, you know. I mean, top 200 in the nation, you know, they're – a physical team from Georgia, and they're also a team that Auburn has not played, uh, at least not this season, so kind of getting a new taste here for the Auburn Tigers, and we're seeing how they're handling it right now. Now we have Camilla Bosman with it, and that's going to go out of bounds, and that's going to be off the foot of Lindsey Anik. And so now going down line, that's Harris County, that's number 15, Aubrey Mertz. And it's going to go out of bounds to the Tigers again. So Harris County just slowly working their way down the field here, trying to get something going. And I'll tell you what, I mean, Auburn, yes, Harris County is a tough foe, but they got an even tougher foe next Tuesday against Oak Mountain, who's currently 13th, I think, in the nation, second in the state. Uh, so not saying that, you know, this is just a tune-up for Oak Mountain, but this was supposed to be a game that kind of prepared them for that. And Absolutely. so far, Harris, count, Harris County's just not backing down. Yeah, they're giving them a very good run for their money so far, trying to stay in the game and potentially win it. I mean, pull off the upset here away, so that would be a very big win for Harris County. Absolutely. I mean, it would move them to 10-4-1 and one on the season. We see it right there, hit the left shoulder of number six, Kyla Estes. And she gets a little bit physical with the defender for Auburn and Trammell. But Auburn able to kick it away. Now Claire Knapper giving chase and she's unable to make it to the ball, and it's going to be Harris County's throwing once again. But, I mean, maybe this is good for the Auburn Tigers, you know, a bit of a challenge before you face an even bigger challenge next week, you know, kind of gets them ready uh, in a sort of a different way rather than just a blowout. So now we see Bosman with it. Kind of surprised Bosman has not been able to get going this game. She had actually not one, not two, not three, but four goals against Central on Tuesday in that 10-0 win. So 
looking for her to get going here for the Tigers. Now we see Bosman with it. A little bit of rough play here. Bosman and Henry just playing back and forth at this point. Yeah, Bosman falling to the turf there. No call. And now it's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be an open throw in by Anik. Now Napper with it. Now gives it off to Bosman. Bosman, nice through ball over to Napper. Some good defense here, though, by Harris County. Now Napper almost goes out of bounds. Good save. Looking for the cross. And is able to get it in to Paige Martin. Now back out to Napper. Napper with her left foot. Able to find Bosman. Bosman not able to control it well enough. And that is going to be easily taken out by Harris County. But we see once again there, Auburn making it all the way down inside the goalie box and just unable to capitalize. So now Harris County. Losing her foot in there. It's going to be. Yeah, some bodies oh. falling here in the second half. We see right there, a bit of a trip up. But the refs are keeping the whistles in their pockets, which I actually like making the game more physical. And a nice nutmeg there. Now Claire Napper with it. Green grass. Napper gonna cross it in. And Get it over to Wrights and damn Wrights. Another save. Another one. Like you said, DJ yeah. Khaled, another yeah. one. Yeah. Cadence mm -hmm. Gardner, what's that, seven, eight saves on the day? I mean, she's just balling yeah. out. Absolutely. And Cadence Gardner only a sophomore, so look for her to have a uh, Good couple years and a uh, good couple of years ahead of her in high school as well. Possibly a D1 level player at some point. Now we're going to see some nice, nice rough play between Rachel Stewart and Lindsay Anik. I mean, you love to see, you know, refs aren't interfering too much with the game, just allowing the players to do what they do best, letting it be physical and allowing them to, you know, just play the game. Absolutely. Paige Martin, just some miscommunication there with her teammate. Auburn's going to remain with the ball. Fans calling for Sam Wrights to shoot it, but she did not have an open lane. So she decided otherwise, and that's going to be kicked away after it was a too strong of a pass there by Claire Knapper. Auburn going to reset with Layla Simmons. Now Simmons going to go over to Wright. Wright's the captain of today's game. A D1 commit to Mercer University, Sam Wrights. And that's going to be another good save after a shot by Camilla Bosman that was from a little far out but still a great save there by Cadence Gardner once again yeah I mean I said earlier she should punt for the football team again, <laughs> there you see it but I mean also yeah. consider baseball or softball I mean you're diving and sliding all, all games so you may as well consider it yeah I'm sure she's a multi-sport athlete very seems very athletic out here on the pitch and now we got Paige Martin getting dump off there by Lindsay Ennick Auburn, I will say, is doing a good job of keeping it in the attacking third on Harris County's side, not letting Harris County get any good runs. Kind of just wearing down the Harris County Tigers a little bit here. We see right there, trying to get it to Napper. And we're going to see almost a collision there, but Cadence Gardner was able to stand her ground and get another save. Wise gamble there. I mean, had it gone the other way, it could have been a goal. Absolutely. She misses that ball, and it's 2-1 Auburn. So now we got Sam Wrights with it off the steal. Trying to make some moves on her defender. Does. Dukes out another one here. Just taking it herself. And that's going to be a penalty. Good call there by the ref. Number 14, Kennedy Miller, the junior defensive mid for Harris County. Just getting a little bit touchy there with her legs. Yeah. The refs haven't been calling everything, but they have been calling some stuff. And I do like that, you know, to try and prevent any fights happening or anything like that. If only we could get that in other sports. <laughs> yeah, and be sure uh, for those watching right now, stay tuned because about 30 minutes after this game's over, the men's game is going to be on between Harris County and the Auburn Tigers. Auburn looking to get another win. They're on a hot streak right now, and they're trying to get another win before they face the number one ranked team in the country, yeah. Oak Mountain, mm -hmm. next Tuesday. Challenge of the year. And so Sam Wright's... What do you think? She shoots it here, or does she try and cross it in? I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea to shoot it. but So Wright's just going to cross it in here, and Ooh, yeah, a bit of a collision there on the ground for the Tigers. That looks like, can't tell who it is from right here if I had some binoculars. Definitely a good setup, though. I've noticed that Auburn is more of a pass, like all the players are more pass first than shoot first. Yeah, that was. Especially in this game. Yeah, that was Mally Knapper who hit the grass there. Uh, she looks to be all right. Kind of grabbing at that right arm there, though. 
And so hopefully we'll monitor her health throughout the game. But once again, another stop by Harris County. And you almost feel like Harris County, it's just bound to happen. They're going to get a good run and see if they can score. Napper here thought about the shot, then decided to give it off to Adams, and that was not the best decision. Harris County gets the steal. Although Sam Wrights gets it right back. She's going to take a long shot and score. Oh, what a goal there by Sam Wrights. Add it to the college highlight reel before yep. she goes to Mercer University. I mean, what a shot. Out of, shot. out of nowhere from about 25 yards out, I'd say. Just yeah. absolutely nets it into the top right corner. And Auburn is now up 2-1. That's the momentum you need. I mean, on, under 10 minutes into the uh, second half, you want a goal from somebody. you call calling Sam Wrights. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Sam Wrights calling her own name there not needing any assist on that shot. And it's almost like this is the type of game where those type of players are going to be the difference makers. And now Auburn up 2-1 here with 31 minutes to go here in the second half. Auburn looking to move up to 11, or excuse me, 12-2-1 and two and one on the year as they look to try and make it back to the state championship here in 2024. So you see Layla Simmons going to try and clear it there and Harris County's going to let her. I mean she's been everywhere getting uh, numerous steals all throughout the first half and continuing on the second half. It's just amazing. Yeah Layla Simmons the uh, absolute star. She's actually the younger sister of Kinsley Simmons who plays for Louisiana University or formerly UL Lafayette Raging Cajuns. So another D1 product of Auburn High School. Ooh. Yeah that one and that's gonna knock the wind out of her. I heard that one. <laughs> yeah, she hit off of her hit off of her stomach right there, but Yeah, I don't think I could play soccer. <laughs> I'm leave that to go. Uh and so Auburn now trying to get the ball back, trying to get possibly another goal to add to the cushion. But Harris County not out of it yet. That's gonna go out of bounds and it's gonna be Auburn throw in. Player Napper looking for an open teammate. And try and find Bossman. Nice lead pass there. Bossman looking to cross it. And that's going to go out of bounds. Going to stay with the Tigers here. So Harris County not out of danger yet. Quick Paige Martin. In. Nice footwork. Martin trying to find a teammate. She does. Sam Wrights has an opening. She's going to take it. And a, what a save. What a save there by Cadence Gardner. Ethan Harris County in this game. That exactly. looked like it was going to be two for Wrights and three for Auburn right there. Yeah. But now it's going to be out of bounds, and it's looking like it's going to be a. I actually can't see. It's going to be Auburn throwing. Okay. A lot of the Auburn teammates stretching over there, kind of camouflages the thrower. Now Camilla Bosman with it. Now Auburn trying to add to that lead. Oh, oh, splits yeah. there. Yeah, number 10, Lulabo Hammer, hitting a gymnastics move right there on the soccer field. And they're going to say that's Harris County ball. Or at least the ref on the sideline did, said it. The ref in the middle saying otherwise. So, yes, yeah, so there's going to be an Auburn throw in. Sam Wright's with it. Uh, I thought she was going to shoot it again. <laughs> that would be a little bit far. 30, 35 yards out. Hey, I'm not saying she can't. I mean, but, hey, coming right off a of goal, might, might as well. Yeah. It wouldn't hurt. A little heat check there for Sam Wright's. But now it's going to be a goal kick here. For Harris County, Caden Gardner is gonna send it away. Kind of scanning the field here, trying to see what move she's gonna make. She's gonna boot it up here to the left side of the field, and a nice, nice first step there by Lindsey Anik, and now Claire Napper with it. Napper's gonna go inside to Adams. Adams over to Lula Bell Hammer, but Lula Bell Hammer kind of lost her footing there, wasn't able to get a nice clean shot off. I mean, if it had some air under it, I really think that could have went in. For sure. So now this one's going to take a bounce all the way out of bounds. That's going to be an Auburn throw in. Good job by Lindsey Anik, though. Uh, you saw she kind of almost, I mean, you're a basketball guy. You yeah. saw she almost kind of posted up against the um, offensive player for Harris County and kind of stopped her from getting to the ball yeah. before it went out of bounds. Nice, nice little box out there, you know. <laughs> So Auburn with it now. Scarlett Adams. Kind of surprised she hasn't really gotten anything going today either. 
And here we have this kind of a dangerous play for Auburn. Why would track me trying to get to the ball? Yeah, Melissa Smith just being patient and waiting for it and able to get the save. So now Layla Simmons with it. Passes it over to Claire Knapper. Knapper yeah. driving up green, the field. Green grass right now. Yeah, she's got a lot of real estate. And now Camilla Bossman with it. Bossman just loses it. Now with the shot lit up, and that's going to be. The field goal is good. Yeah. I mean, three points, give her three points, but this is not football. This is football. Yeah. Or slight, as, yeah. Slight difference. <laughs> slight difference. I'll tell you what, though. Lula Bell Hammer is a star already. I mean, yeah. he's an eighth grader starting on the varsity team. Uh, the younger sister of Ellie Hammer, who is currently playing D1 soccer as well at High Point University. But, I mean, she's got athleticism in her genes. Also, Max Hammer, also in that kind of family tree, I guess you'd say. He's uh, actually transferring from Auburn High School to be Lee Scott's QB. As you see, Camilla Bossman trying to get a shot off with the left. Had the power, but went right to the goalkeeper's hands. Can we just, like, revoke her title as goalkeeper and wide <laughs> receiver instead? Yeah, exactly. As many catches as she had, all the receptions. Yeah, she could play. She could play football, play softball, play soccer. I mean, you name it. Yeah. Instagram has got it. So now Auburn just kind of booting it away there. Harris County with it. Oh, deal. nice steal here by Scarlett Adams, and Adams loses it right there, gets it back. Now over to Paige Martin. Martin with a little bit of room. Who even has more room is Claire Knapper. She passes it to her. Now over to Adams. Adams is about to shoot it here. And now a bit of a bit of a tie up there between the players. Now they're still jostling with it. I'm sure some words are pro probably being exchanged. And that's going to go out of bounds. And that's going to be Auburn throw-in. Scarlett Adams is a very fiery player. She's actually also going to play D1 along with Sam Wrights. She's going to play at Queens College up in New York. So... Very, very excited about that. Right here, she's just trying to get her Auburn Tigers the win. Now we're going to see the ref try and settle things down there. Things are getting a little bit too physical between yeah. these two teams right yeah. there. The tension is building. Yeah. As we creep up on just under 25 minutes to go here in the game, Auburn's still up two goals to one. If you're just joining us, Lula Bell Hammer started the scoring off in the first half, and then right before halftime, uh, Harris County took advantage of a PK, a penalty kick. And then here in the second half, Sam Wrights with a long 25-yard shot into the top right corner. And she's going to try and repeat it here and Oops. just a little bit too high. Might have been aiming for the guys over there. <laughs> they're getting next. Uh, yeah, if you just, you know, going off of that, uh, be sure to stay tuned after this game is over because 30 minutes after, we're going to have the men's game between the Auburn Tigers and Harris County right after this one's over. So Cadence Graham Gardner, excuse me, Cadence Gardner going to boot it away here. And Harris County really hasn't gotten anything going in terms of offense in the second half. I've done a good job of holding them to just one goal in the second half here. Auburn's had multiple chances, but Harris County just unable to get anything going on their attacking third. Yeah, they have probably under five minutes in their attacking third out of like time of possession and all that. Absolutely. So we they're see, trying to approach it here. Yeah, but a nice steal there by Paige Martin. And we're going to see some a little bit of physical play there. Now Layla Simmons with it on the back end. She's going to boot it. And it's going to be stolen away. Nope. Camilla Boss been able to get it. Kind of bumps into her defender. And is able to get the Ooh, ball back and work. crosses her up. Now she's going to get the back. back. Some nice passing here. Claire Knapper trying to cross it in. And just didn't have the power. And now she does. Now Paige Martin with it. Martin with her left. Uh, and that's just a little bit off the goal. Just a little bit to the right. Yeah. So we're going to see a goal kick here by Cadence Gardner. Harris County trying to get to double-digit wins on the season here. Meanwhile, Auburn trying to keep that undefeated home win record alive here. Ooh, good, good, good deflection there. So Harris County and Auburn exchanging the ball here. Now Lulabelle Hammer with it. 
Layla Simmons boots it off of her left foot. Almost looked like it could have been a handball right there. Now they're going to give chase for it. Layla Simmons not worried. She's going to boot it out of bounds. Although Harris County right here do have the ball in the attacking third. Let's see if they take advantage of it. Yeah. Good spot to throw it in and hopefully set somebody up to get the goal. So we're going to see right here, excuse me, number 20, the Jane Riley, the sophomore forward, going to throw it in here for the Harris County Tigers. Back to Riley. And stolen away, and Paige Martin tried to boot it. Unable to. Harris County trying to even the score here against the Auburn Tigers. Starting to run low on time here. And we're going to see some more bodies fall to the ground. Wrestling out here, WWE. Yeah, the ref the ref choosing not to pull out his whistle. And we're going to see now Wrights get the steal. Wrights makes a nice move. Gets it over to Adams. Wrights and Adams, the two captains for the Auburn Tigers today. As you can tell by their sleeve. Now Paige Martin with it in the middle of the field. Finds a wide open Eliza Daniel. Now Bosman with it. He's gonna go back out to Martin. Adams over to Wrights. Some good ball movement here for the Tigers. Now other side with Mally Napper. Nice little through ball over to Napper. Almost gets it stolen away, falls to the ground. Now Wrights is gonna send it. And that's gonna go. Couldn't tell if she was trying to pass it there to Claire Napper or trying to shoot it. Looked like a bit of both, but it's either way, it's gonna be a goal kick here for the Harris County Tigers. Trying to get that spin on the ball just didn't work and ended up giving the ball back to Harris County. So now Cadence Gardner with the goal kick here. Cadence Gardner going to send it away here for Harris County. And Auburn gets the steal. Now Napper going to go outside. Go outside to Eliza Daniel. Daniel going to go inside to Napper. Once again, still good defense here by Harris County, just denying the ball for the Auburn Tigers here. And now I'm gonna say goodbye to my color analyst, Jaden Eccles, and say hello to my new color analyst, Reese Kinder. Reese, as we're in the second half here, Auburn able to go up two to one. Harris County still doing some good work on the defense, but how do they try and you know, get an offensive breakaway here and try and even the score honestly i mean you know you got to get past that tough auburn defense and i think uh you know you got to just kind of maneuver your way through that defense just you know we saw in the first half they had a lot of steals so i think they need to just limit the steals um and try to you know move the ball around a little bit more like auburn's been doing where they've just kind of sat back there and kind of pass it around and you know set up a good play absolutely and if you're just joining us here auburn up to one as we creep under 19 minutes to go here, this is going to be another goal kick here for the Harris County Tigers. But, I mean, I would say players of the game so far, because this is usually the top, the part in the show or in the broadcast where we start to discuss who is going to be the AHS Mass Media player of the game. For the Auburn Tigers right now, I mean, it's really a toss-up. I mean, obviously, the two players that have scored goals are Sam Wrights and Lula Bell Hammer. But if you're Harris County, there's no doubt it has to be goalkeeper Cadence Gardner so far. It's kept them in the game up until this point. Yeah, Cadence Gardner, you know, in the first half had about six or seven saves. So really good first half and a really good second half. So, I mean, so far Cadence Gardner is showing why she is one of the best goalies in possibly the state of Georgia. Absolutely. And only a sophomore, too. So she's yeah. going to have still two more years after this year. So now Harris County with it. Let's see if they can make a move here. And that's going to go off the knees of Sam Wrights. And that's going to be out of bounds. A little bit of a box out there by number three, Grace Seward. This second half, if you're just joining us, this second half has been pretty physical between these two teams. We've already had a PK in this game. And so that could come into play late in this game. As we see Harris County trying to get a through ball there to number 33, Avery Habricon. And now that's going to be stolen away by Auburn and they're on the move, right? Yeah, we saw earlier, you know, like Auburn, Auburn didn't really, you know, penetrate the ball a lot in that first half, um, and now they kind of are in the second half. 
and that was some good defense there by number 10, Ramsey Jolly, the, so the sophomore defender for Harris County. Kind of getting a little handsy there with Sam Wrights, but able to force her to make a bad touch and gets the throw in for her team. It's been a back and forth game all day. Auburn with the one goal advantage. And let's see if they can possibly pull one out here against a tough Harris County team. Yeah, Harris County, you know, like I said earlier in the first half, you know, nine and nine, four and one on the year for the Har for Harris County. So, you know, I mean, really good year so far for them. Yeah, trying to get to double digit wins here tonight against Auburn. Meanwhile, Auburn trying to keep their home, uh, they're unbeaten at home this year, trying to keep that alive, especially going into a game against Oak Mountain next Tuesday. Yeah, and that's really big game, you know. Absolutely. That Oak Mountain. Oak Mountain's boys, you know, for our for our boys, Oak Mountain's boys are ranked number one in the country. In the country, in the so, country I mean, yes. They are 17-0-1. They've had one tie this year, and I'm pretty sure that's against another top 10 team in the country. So, But, hey, our boys are, you know, 35th or somewhere around there in the country. So, Yeah, we'll give know. them a fight. Absolutely. Be sure as well, if you're watching this broadcast right now, be sure to stay tuned after this game because coming up, just 30 minutes after the end of this first women's game will be the Auburn versus Harris County men's game, and that should be a great one, just as this game has been so far today. As we're creeping up on 15 and a half minutes to go here, Harris County running out of time to try and tie up the score, you know, while Auburn just trying to hold on to this lead. Layla Simmons jostling around with Caitlin Riley. I wish you able to get get away. I wish you could just hold the ball out the whole the whole yeah, rest of the game. So like Harris County wouldn't steal the ball. If... Well, we, I I heard you and Jane talking in the first half about you know Auburn kind of passing a, a, around a little bit in the back end. Don't be surprised if we get to like five minutes here and Auburn just starts passing around between their defensive mids and uh, defensive backs to try and run out the clock. Yeah, I heard. Um, or well, I saw like in the first half, like that's mainly what we were doing, just like mainly passing around. I think we were trying to waste clock, and then finally we started to get going at the end of that half. Absolutely, and it's a good way to, you know, chew up clock, but also you can try and set up some sets there to try and score some goals. As we're going to see, that's going to go out of bounds off the right foot of Rachel Stewart. It's going to be a throw in for Auburn here. Eliza Daniel going to take the throw in. Yeah, right now Auburn just trying to trying to find their way to the to the goal just like slowly as uh, they just work with the pace of the game, letting the clock just run. The clock is their friend right now. Absolutely. I mean, if you're Auburn, no need to rush here. Try and get a nice offensive set and score another goal. As we're gonna see, Meredith Martin kicked it hard with her left foot, but nothing nothing doing for Cadence Gardner. He's just gonna easily save it and punt it away. Yeah, right there. I mean, Cadence Gardner, another save tonight. Yeah, that's got to be double digits. Yeah. Close to double digits, at least. I mean, like I did say earlier, she is their only goalie on the team, but, I yeah. mean. She's one heck of a yeah, goalie. Yeah, one heck of a goalie. And so Napper now with it. Napper's going to kick it off her left another foot save. and another diving save. Gardner making that look a little tougher than it had to be, but still getting the save nonetheless. Diving for it. Yeah, I don't know if that one would have went in. It might, yeah, have I don't, the, it might have been off the crossbar or something, or off the bar right there or something. Yeah, but it's still good effort there by Cadence Gardner. And now Harris County with some real estate here, number nine, Rachel Stewart. But that's quickly shut down by Sam Wrights. And it'll still be a throw in here for Harris County. Yeah, Harris County, a lot of, they've had a lot of throw ins. And honestly, like earlier in the first half, uh, I mean, there was one point where Auburn's defense was so good that they uh, took a while to throw that ball in, and they all they did throw it away when they threw it in. So they've had a lot of turnovers off the throw in. Yeah, Harris County just hasn't been able to get anything going here on the uh, left side of the field, just in terms of scoring wise. I mean, their one goal on the day is that PK, and so. But this is an Auburn team that, in their last in five of their last six games, has not allowed a single goal, minus that one against James Clemens, who is a top 20 team in the country. Yeah, Auburn's had a really good uh, few past few games this season, uh, or past few games 
I mean, just past the uh, on schedule here. So I mean, yeah, you look at it. They beat Central 10 nothing, which that game was on Tuesday. Uh, if you weren't here to see it, that was broadcast by HS Mass Media. It was actually a mercy rule. They ended the game early, and so. Yeah, I didn't even know you could do that in soccer. I thought it was just baseball and softball, but yeah, no. So, so the rules and this could come into play in the men's game. We'll see. Not gonna say anything yet, but the rules is if you're up by ten points at any time in the second half or in the in once it gets to halftime. In the first half, you can score as many as you want. You can be up 20-0. They'll keep it going until halftime. But from halftime on, if you're up by ten points at any time, they will end the game. Wow, and so we'll see if uh, Auburn can. They're not. They're definitely not going to do that tonight against Harris County. But let's see if they can pull out the win. As you see, Camilla Bosman fighting for the ball. Yeah, Camilla Bosman really has not gotten a lot of action tonight. Yeah, I mean, I talked about it earlier with Jaden. She scored four goals against Central on Tuesday. Yeah, that's called. That's known as a turkey in soccer, and uh, she's just not been able to get anything going today against Harris County. Probably good scouting by the Tigers of Harris County on that part. Yeah, I mean, like like you said, Harris County, coming from, all the way from Georgia as a 5A school, I mean, that really means something if you want to play a team like Auburn High. I mean, great athletic program at Harris County. Um, and, I mean, this would be a heck of a win. Yeah, for them. especially against the uh, runner-up in the state championship last year. So Layla Simmons here going to try and switch the field, go over to Bossman. Bossman just bad pass there. She she has looked off today. Um, we'll see. We'll definitely discuss that with Coach Ferg after the game. But um, you know, just yeah, just a bit of just bit off so far today. So now we're going to see that go over to Bossman and Bossman just not quick to the step here, and that's going to go out of bounds off the right foot of Sam Wrights. Yeah, I mean, if you look at this Auburn team, though, I mean, a lot of chemistry here. And also just, like, if you got a chance to watch signing day, like Coach Ferguson said so much so much good things about um, – he said so much good things about this team and also about these seniors that are on the team, um, like Samantha and um, uh, most of the seniors on this team. You know, he said a lot of good stuff about them. And that's why this team has such good chemistry. And it's like – it's a really young team, so, I mean, they'll be able to, uh, like I said earlier, this team, you might see them in state championship in a few years, maybe even this year. Absolutely, but we're going to see right here, Harris County, kind of a one-on-one -on -one right here. That's number 14 driving for the Harris County Tigers, Kennedy Miller, and she gets it tapped away. Now sliding for it is Mally Napper, and that's going to be a penalty. Good effort yeah. by Mally Napper, but that is going to be a free kick for Harris County. All right, now. Kennedy Miller kind of Kind of selling it a little bit there, but Auburn still, that still was definitely a good call. And so Harris County going to kick it here from about 20 yards out. You saw earlier on the uh, free kick or on the penalty kick that Melissa Smith just wasn't able to, uh, she wasn't able to get that one. Yeah. Kind of got tricked. Yeah. So Harris County going to try and score here to try and knot it up at two. Yeah, we could have ourselves a game later on. And even, um, you know, if it happens to be a tie, I think it goes, I think five minutes extra time is how far they can go. I think is how, how far it goes. So uh, extra time, they won't do it during the regular season. So that's how it's just, it's just you, uh, it's, playoffs. No, it's just playoffs. Yeah, so if this ends 2-2, it will end in a tie. And that would move Auburn to 11 two and two with two ties on the year and we're gonna see right there another save there by melissa smith but she just passes it directly to the harris county player that's kennedy miller but that's going to be a bad shot and it's going to go out of bounds it's going to be a goal kick for auburn yeah i mean i like i've liked our defense this whole game i mean coach ferg obviously has uh, come out with a really good defensive Absolutely. game plan so i mean it's really working hopefully the tigers can hold on with the with eight minutes to go in this game like I said, it, I cannot express this enough. The Tigers have not allowed a goal in five of their last six games. So, and, it, and in the game that they did allow a goal, they only allowed two. So that's one of the main reasons they won the state or almost won the state championship last year is because 
um, of their defense. defense. I mean, yeah. Like, yeah like, I mean, you look at the final score of that state championship game, it was two to one. Yeah. So. I mean, like, yeah. We don't give up many goals, and if we do, it's if we have a, if we have a few girls out. That's that'd be one of the main reasons we would give up some goals. And so we're going to see a corner kick here for Harris County, and it's starting to get to that point in the game. You know, seven minutes, forty seconds to go. This might be one of those last gasps. Harris County, they're running out of chances here, and they're going to see they're going to kick it in here, and that's easily booted away by Camilla Bossman. Good job by her. It's still going to be a throw in here for Harris County. So you can see their men's team warming, uh, warming up here for their game. It's going to start 30 minutes after this one ends. Should get started at about 7 o'clock, 7.15, something like that. And so be sure to stay tuned for that one. But in this game right here, Rachel Stewart is about to throw it in for Harris County. Looking for an open teammate. Having trouble getting it in there, but does get it in. And so now we see... Right here, she's trying to get a kick off it now. We'll see a boot. Absolutely booted it right there. That's going to be number 21, Abby Counts. It's an absolute rocket of a leg, and now it's going to be a throw in here for the Harris County Tigers. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, this game, a lot of physicality in this game, you know. We've seen a lot of penalties from both sides. So, I mean, just a tough game played. I'm sure there'll be some cuts and bruises tomorrow when they wake up. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, there's going to be a lot of ice packs used after this one. Yeah. But, but uh, I was talking with Jaden earlier, and, you know, we discussed this a little bit before the game. Obviously, this Harris County team, no slouch. But uh, with Oak Mountain coming up next Tuesday, we thought this might be a little bit of a tune-up for that, you know, kind of preparing for that game. But Harris County has come in and played some really good ball and has a chance to win this game late with six minutes to go. But this is almost good for the Tigers because they're facing a quality opponent before facing, well, Oak Mountain yeah. next Tuesday. So kind of getting that because you look at their last couple of games, they've all been blowouts besides James Clemens. So kind of gets Auburn back in that competitive feel and shows them that they're going to need to continue playing well if they want to win these games. Yeah, I mean, I think I honestly think, though, if the if the girls play with this defense against Oak Mountain, I think Oak, I think they have a good chance of winning that game for sure. Because honestly, I think Oak Mountain Oak Mountain kind of is the team that gets in like shootouts. Uh, they just back and forth scoring for sure. Yeah, Oak Mountain a team that really likes to push the ball forward. Yeah, try and stay in that the opposing team's attacking third rather than push it back and try and set up offensive sets. And so. We'll see how Auburn handles that, but let's see if they can hold on to this one here. Five minutes to go here. Auburn with the ball trying to kind of put the finishing touch on this game. Harris County trying to possibly get a tie, one of the more surprising ties of this Alabama high school soccer season. I've just seen a consistency between or from Harris County from the first half and the second half. They're just kind of playing slow. Like, they're not really... They don't really move the ball up past midfield a lot. It's just like a slow-paced game. I don't know if it's just because Auburn's defense is really good or it's just, you know, that's their style. Well, one thing is they're not taking a lot of chances. You yeah. Know? And I think that was their game plan coming in. They're not taking too many risks, not jumping to too many balls, trying to get like a diving tackle or a steal. And it's worked so far to keep them within the game, but they might need to start taking those chances. That's Sam Wright's going to rifle it here, but it's going to go into the right shoulder of a Harris County defender. And now we got, I was about to say, Harris County's got a little bit of a move on here, but Layla Simmons saying, nah uh And now Lulabelle Hammer with it. And uh, give it off to uh, Bossman, and Bossman almost, I almost think that she should have taken that herself and just shot it, but. Yeah, you could have maybe curved that thing in there. Yeah, but she opted to, opted to try and get it over to her teammate. Kind yeah. of an assist-minded player here so far in this game. But no, if you're Harris County, you got to start taking some risk here if you want to try and tie this thing up with yeah, 340 now, to go here. Uh, the Harris County um, going to try to defend there. Yeah, you're kind of trapping us in the corner. Oh, good. Yeah, what? Oh, say it just pounds Magoo to the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just absolutely booted it. I mean, that would have been go good from 50 yards out. Yeah. But Claire Napper just, you know... If you don't know one thing about Claire Napper, obviously multi-sport athlete was a part of that women's basketball team that went to the Final Four, actually a starter. So super athlete, Claire Napper. Uh, she has a rocket of a leg. I mean, yeah. against Central last week, we saw it. 
uh, she scored a goal. A lot of them, she had a lot of other shots on goal, but they went a little bit, let's say, they went a little bit more the football route, went to the field goal post rather than the goal post. So, but she has a rocket of a leg, and you saw it on display right there. Also so, out of bounds. Yeah, Camilla Bossman able to stay oh. with it, and a heck of a job there by Harris County's defender able to tip that away. But it's going to be a corner kick here for Auburn. And you'd be like, one more goal for Auburn here officially does it. For Honestly, this game. I think I think if you, uh, as long as you don't allow another goal for Harris County, I think it does it. Like it's, it should just uh, seal it. I mean, I would say with a minute left, that would seal it. Absolutely. So we're going to see Sam Wrights take the corner kick. She's going to wait a little bit, wait for the clock to settle. I think she's going to wait for it to hit two minutes, and then she's going to kick it. Well, the ref actually having a discussion here. Looks like with Cadence Gardner, the goalie. And not sure what they're talking about. Could be, I don't know, could be discussing dinner plans, could be discussing yeah. something about the game. I'm not, I'm not sure. It doesn't help Harris County by any means as the clock ticked down all the way down to 210. The clock is not the friend of Harris County, but it is Auburn's so far. And as we see the corner kick right here, and a nice punch out by Cadence Gardner right there. But Auburn just going to control it here, and now you'll probably see some of that passing around for Auburn. But oh, man. Oh. And right there. This isn't football. Yeah. The, <laughs> this play. I mean, it is football, yeah. but it's not football football. Yeah, on a football field right here, and looks like they need to get the pads on. I mean, this has been, this has been one of the more physical uh, women's soccer games I have watched recently. But it's exciting. It's good. Yeah. And so um, Harris County right here with 130 to go might need a buzzer beater goal here if they want to tie this one up. And now Auburn going to throw it in. And Harris County. Clock is your friend, so, I mean. Yeah, if you're Auburn. If you're Auburn, clock is your friend. But Harris County still fighting. Yeah, still trying to press and trying to get this tie. Claire Napper with it now trying to go down line. It's going to go out of bounds. She's going to quickly throw it in. Yeah, see if the ref didn't notice. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Now it's still going to be Auburn throw-in, but... Well, Auburn, honestly, I mean, you could probably just hold it. And... Yeah, honestly, 56 seconds to go here. But we're going to try to... Yeah, it's looking like Auburn gonna going to pull out this win, but let me not speak too soon here. Yeah, you'll say that, and then all of a sudden <laughs> you'll pick it from midfield, and it will go in. If you're Harris County right here... You got to try and get some crazy through ball action or something. Ooh. What a nice move there by Claire Napper. Napper just going to cross it in, headed out by the Harris County Tigers. But Auburn just hitting away. Under 30 seconds to go here. Harris County looking for something. Auburn just trying to hold on here. We creep up on 20 seconds. And almost a oh. steal there. And that's the clock good. just ticking away here. And I think Harris County is just going to let it go down. The only way you uh, and so yeah, so the way you win is if oh, it's actually a, a free kick here for Harris County, but the I mean, only way you win is if you have an <laughs> NFL punter. Yeah, that's going to do it. Auburn gets the win, a close one here against Harris County. They win two to one. That'll move the that'll move the Auburn Tigers to 12 two and one on the year. Uh, and now they're going to get ready for Oak Mountain after this tough opponent today. They move on to a tough opponent next Tuesday. Meanwhile, Harris County, they're going to move down to 9-5-1, and one, but still, I mean, put on a heck of an effort here. I mean, I mean yeah. you know, out-of-state game, you have to travel all the way to Auburn, Alabama, and you end They're up like, putting a fight and only losing by one. What are your thoughts of this game? I mean, honestly, physical game. I love the style both teams played, and honestly, Auburn, you know, continuing their hot uh, – Hot playing right now, and you know, I mean, honestly, uh, that next game against Oak Mountain, I'm not scared now. Honestly, the way I've seen the Tigers play, hey. I, think, I think we have a chance. Yeah, I mean, Auburn looked pretty good today. I mean, Harris County did give them a fight, but Auburn able to stick with it, and Auburn able to get two goals, but one from Lulabelle Hammer in the first half, and then one from Sam Wrights, which I mean, 
25 yards out, top right corner. I mean, that's going to be one that not only Auburn's excited about, but Mercer University Bears, her college team coming up after this season, uh, is going to be excited about. Yeah, put and that so, on SportsCenter. Yeah, put it, put it on SportsCenter Top 10. Um, AHS Mass Media Player of the Game, I'm going to have to give it to Sam Wright. I mean, she just kept up throughout the entire game. Lula Bell Hammer also played really good. This entire Auburn Tigers team seems to be coming together at the right time as you see them coming up to their fans and kind of just waving to them. But that's going to do it from the first game of two. Be sure to stay tuned for about 20 minutes here. So at about exactly 7 o'clock, it looks like, we're going to get to see the Auburn Tigers men's team face off against Harris County. So be sure to tune in for that. But for myself as well as Reese Kinder here, we're saying so long for the women's game, and we'll say hello for the men's game in a couple minutes.
from the Harris County Tigers here in the press box. We appreciate it. Hey everyone, my name is Michelle Blumen. I work at Drake Middle School in Auburn. I am so sad that I can't be at Merge Auburn with you guys, but I wanted to share a little bit about my project outreach story and what that looks like for us at Drake. Our chapter started in 2019 when I was in my second year of teaching. I had heard from Scott the year before, but I wanted to give myself a year to kind of get into the swing of teaching. The class that I had at the time was extremely social and wanted to be is with their friends as much as possible. And so when I heard about Project Outreach, I wanted to be able to give them that opportunity. Things quickly went from just a monthly meeting in my classroom and playing games to students wanting to hang out and assist my students out in, in the school, whether that was in general ed classes or school-wide activities. There was students who just became passionate about their relationship with, with my students. I think what my favorite part about Project Outreach has been is not just the monthly meetings in my classroom, but seeing our community get involved and getting the whole school involved, the staff, the students that aren't a part of Project Outreach, and having them enter into this world of advocation and inclusion and to make sure that they really know what Project Re Outreach is all about even without being a member of our club. We are so lucky to live in a community that not only welcomes people with disabilities, but celebrates them. With places like Biddy and Bows and the Eagles program, Auburn is actively trying to make the world a more inclusive place. One year, I was able to partner with Anna and Anna, the authors of the book, Almost Twins. This is a story of their friendship and how they discovered that they are way more alike than they are different. This is a story of inclusion, a story of advocation, and overall a story of friendship. We were able to set up a Zoom meeting where Anna and Anna both were able to speak to all of Project Outreach about their friendship, how they met, writing a book, and what they've been able to do, where they've been able to speak, and really the story that they've been able to spread. My members asked questions about what it's like to live with Down syndrome and what it's like to be friends with somebody with Down syndrome and were inspired by their story. We have also had a continued partnership with the Auburn University wheelchair basketball team. Coach Rob Taylor and his athletes have been so supportive of the project outreach effort here in Drake. He and his athletes have come to share with our students what adapted athletics is and how a disability doesn't define the things you can and can't do. By far, my favorite part of project outreach has been watching my students create friendships that last well beyond their year at Drake. William is a student with Down syndrome who I taught a few years ago. His friend Cole is a typical student in his grade. Cole joined Project Outreach after meeting William at Dare Camp, and through Project Outreach, their friendship grew and they remained friends throughout the year. What is your name? William Benson. And how old are you, William? 15 years old. And what grade are you going into? I'm in eighth grade. Eighth grade. Why do you love Project Outreach, William? I made new friends. Make some new friends there? Mm -hmm. Awesome. What is your favorite memories from Project Outreach? Um, well, Christmas party and a Halloween party. Wow. Did you get to dress up for your Halloween party? Yes. What did you dress up as? Reverse Flash. The Flash? Reverse Flash. Oh, Reverse Flash. Awesome. And do you feel like you've made any new friends because of Project Outreach? Yes. Yes? What grade did you start Project Outreach in? 
Sixth grade. Sixth grade. What were some of the names of the friends you made? Um, Emma and um, Lacey, Paul. Good. And did you get to see those friends in seventh grade? Yes, I did. You did? Did part Project Outreach continue into seventh grade? Yes. Great. Were you looking forward to seeing all those friends? Yes, I did. And what are you looking forward to the most going to eighth grade? Um, exercise surprise my friends. To do what? Surprise my friends. Over the years, I've watched Project Outreach at Drake grow into the program that is today, and it really has become my favorite part of being a teacher. My hope is that we can get Project Outreach into all the schools in Auburn and even the surrounding areas so that other students can experience those same kind of friendships and learn the same kind of things that the students at Drake have. Thank you guys so much for coming to Merge Auburn. Um, I can't wait to hear about all the great things that happen because of this day. What do you think you're doing, Kevin? I uh, was just gonna drive home. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, there are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. Like hearing voices? Like your text to emoji ratio? Oh man, the selfies. <laughs> selfie nailed it. We all have warning signs that let us know that we're probably not okay to drive. Mine is pretending to be your subconscious. Craig, come on man, let's put a ride home. This is the story of a boy who didn't talk for a long time. The boy liked things to always be the same. Any changes would scare and upset him. The unknown was an unfriendly place. The boy was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where they couldn't get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. He wasn't trying to be mean, it just made him feel uncomfortable. Sometimes he would flap his arms again and again. One day I found out I have something called autism. My family got me help. Slowly, I found my voice and learned all the way I could live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. When I was in Iraq, our convoy was hit. It was bad. After I came home, I could still hear booms and see tracer fire. Makes it hard to be a good mom. As America's veterans face challenges, DAV is there. I'm Naomi Mathis, Air Force veteran. With the right support, more veterans can reach victories great and small. With help from DAV, I was able to begin to heal. DAV provides a lifetime of support to veterans of every generation, helping more than a million veterans each year. Today I'm part of DAV. We're veterans helping veterans to get the benefits they've earned. And I give my veterans my all. But there's more to be done and more victories to be won. My victory is being able to be here for my children. Naomi Mathis, thank you for your service. May your victories inspire many more. Support more victories for veterans. Go to DAV.org. When his idea of game night has you feeling played. Or your teacher's pet has become unleashed. Inseparable has become intolerable. Visit boystown.org slash parenting. Whether you're a parent, grandparent, or guardian of a toddler, teen, or someone in between, we've got parenting guides, articles, videos, tools, and quick tips from experts backed by over 100 years of experience. Get your parenting going in the right direction with Boystown, saving children, and healing families. What? Come on, are you lying? Oh, come on! Oh, what a bad call! You whistle! You have no business being out there. You're terrible! You know, 
I'm a person too. Yes, women can have it all, including heart attacks. Know the signs. Heart disease is the number one killer of women. Get heart checked. Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Duck Sanford Stadium. I'm your play-by-play analyst for today, Max Mesman. I'm joined by my color commentator, Charlie McGowan. Charlie, uh, you know, three days ago we were commentating the Central women's game uh, between Auburn and Central, and that was a fun game, but it was a mercy rule. You know, mercy rule by Auburn. Good for us as Auburn high school students. I don't expect the same today. That's what I'll go ahead and lead us off with. I don't expect the same today between Auburn and Harris County, the men's teams. Um, you know, the men's team three days ago only won by two against a central team that they beat 10-1 the last time. So coming into this game, really looking at these two sides that we have pitted against each other tonight, what are some keys to the game for both these teams? Well, Max, Auburn coming in 10-1-3. and three. Coming in on a four-game home winning streak right now. Kind of kind of have the hot hand coming into this game. Harris County, 5-8-1, losing five straight, four straight on the road. It's uh, on paper, it's definitely, uh, I don't know, Auburn's a little bit, um, I don't know what the word is. They're like the favorite. Yeah, They're like the favorite, yeah. Know, if, there was, if, there was betting, if there was betting for this game, Auburn would definitely be favorite. <laughs> yeah. But I will say this. Because you were actually down by the team for the first game right. for today against the, the for the women's game, which great game by the way. If you missed it, just joining us, Auburn won two one in the women's game, looking to sweep Harris County tonight in the men's game. But you were standing over by the men's team, right. and you heard them talking a lot about the Oak Mountain game, which yeah. is next Tuesday. Which understandable, they're the number one number team one in the country. country. So I mean, you think about football versus IMG is big. Like, mm-hmm. it's almost that level in terms of soccer. If not bigger. Yeah, if not bigger. Yeah, the number one, ladies and gentlemen, number one, according to all polls uh, that I've seen, at least, uh, Oak Mountain in the country. So that'll be a huge one. But tonight, you know, obviously, Harris County, they're ranked in the 500s nationally. You know, they're not having the greatest season. But this could be a bit of a trap game, you know, between these two teams tonight. Right. But, Going into this game, who are some key players to look out for between the Harris County Tigers and the Auburn Tigers? For uh, Harris County, I got Seth Coker, goalkeeper for uh, Harris County. They got He has 42 saves on season, averaging 5.3 a game. Pretty good numbers there, Max. For yeah, Auburn, sounds good to me. For Auburn, I got Cohen Park. Obviously. Man, he, he's a beast. He, has yeah. thir- he had 13 goals in the month of February. Oh, my That's God. pretty good. And... He had the game-winning assist. Yeah, I know. So last uh, week, Tuesday. yeah, last week, uh, or not last week, excuse me, Tuesday against Central, like you said, right. uh, you know, he got an assist. Not only any assist, a 50-yard assist. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could say 40 because it went to Mikey at the 10, but still, 40-yard assist. Gorgeous you go, play. Yeah, you can go look at it on AHS Mass Media's YouTube channel. Uh, we got the highlights from that game, and that is on there. And just what a play by him. Mm-hmm. He is so talented as this entire Auburn team is. But we're going to get ready for the national anthem. And then coming up, we're going to have kickoff between the Auburn Tigers and the Harris County Tigers presented by AHS Mass Media.
you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Duck Sanford Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. The national anthem just playing right there. Auburn getting ready to kick off here against Harris County. Should be a great one. We're going to strap in for 80 minutes of soccer. Uh, it's going to be great, and we'll see who comes out victorious. Will it be Harris County or will it be Auburn? This battle be of the Tigers. Fun. Yeah, Battle of the Tigers. We cannot say uh, out on the Tigers or scored by the Tigers. They're both Tigers. Right. Harris County at Auburn tonight should be a great one as you see Auburn doing their pre-game um, getting ready for the game and they're coming onto the field trying to get a win here against Harris County uh, what would be their uh, you know at home Auburn right now is 5-1-1 one, and one, but this game would actually be Auburn's I think like 10th straight game without a loss if they are able to tonight so but we'll see what happens here as they're getting ready to kick off. It's time for the beautiful game. Who's ready for some Auburn Tiger soccer? You can hear the announcer there getting the team hyped up, the fans hyped up as you see Auburn right there, praying on the field, getting ready to go out there and try and get a win tonight. Much needed one, I will say, going into that Oak Mountain game because you feel like you lose this game, that's just bad for momentum going to that Oak Mountain right. game. I want to go back to what you said, saying this might be a trap game for the men's. On paper, Harris County, maybe not playing the best ball, but on uh, Monday, they played the number five team in the nation, number two team in Georgia, and we know Georgia is very competitive in soccer. Mm -hmm. um, they only lost 2 nothing. I know yeah. losing is definitely not a goal, but 2 nothing to number five team in the country, not yeah, not something no, to yeah. overlook. They're playing pretty good soccer right now. Absolutely. Playing the right ball at the right time. Right. And, uh, you know, yeah, that was two against McIntosh. So good spot by you there. But now we're getting ready to kick off here. And one of your players of the game uh, to look out for, Cohen Park, set to kick it off here. And Auburn starting off with the ball here. Some of the starters for your Auburn Tigers tonight are in the front end of their team is going to be Cohen Park, uh, Knox Heisler, Ethan Park, and Mikey Donaldson. Then the midfielders for Auburn tonight will be Juanis Bilbao, as along with number four, Sue Choi. And then on the back end, you got Andy Roberts, you got Joel Montez, you got Destiny Zakiri, and of course, Dylan DK Karayuki with the goalie tonight being Brody Cobine, the sophomore. Auburn getting it down field pretty quickly here. Gonna be a throw in here by Destiny Zakiri. Going down line. Harris County trying to keep it in, but tips it out of bounds. So Zakiri now going to get Mikey Donaldson to throw it in, who had technically the game-winning goal on Tuesday against Central. Yeah, that was a pretty one, wasn't it, Max? Absolutely. I mean, you know, uh, tips it off of his right foot and then finished with the left. Absolute beauty. See if we can do that tonight. And that's going to be out of bounds, tipped off the foot of Destiny Zakiri. And so Harris County trying to go past the other end. But Joel Montes having none of it. Just wow. an absolute rocket of a leg. Just looked like he almost just tipped it off of his left foot, but it just went all the way across to the other end of the field. Harris County, though, able to clear it. Now trying to make an offensive run of their own. I will say there are some players on this Harris County team, and I'm mainly talking about number eight for the Harris County Tigers. Mason Walton, the striker junior, uh, he looks like a pretty big guy, you know. And, sure does. Uh, yeah, I mean, out there, he's on a football field. Looks like he could be playing football. Uh, I think he will be a big factor in this game for sure. Looks like he played basketball. Honestly, yeah. He's got the height. See him standing near Joel Montez, and that's going to go out of bounds and be a Joel is not a short dude. No, not at all. Joel Montez, a junior. This is his first year starting for the Auburn High Tigers. 
So now Andy Roberts with it on the left side. And he kicks it down line. Will that be offsides? And they're going to say no. So Knox Heisler just taking it in. Ooh. Little bit of contact in. Is it going to be a PK? Uh, they call it offsides. Yeah. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. So you don't get that open. True. Yeah, you don't get that open without having just a little bit of a step. I think what. So, one thing that's different from a lot of sports in soccer, refs will flow, throw up their flag. That doesn't mean play is over. It does mean that there was a penalty, but they'll wait till the play is like, you know, kind of switches possession just to see if anything happens. Because, I mean, if it's, uh, if it's on the other team and the team still has the ball that got fouled uh, and they score, I mean, you know, then it's a win for them either way. Which I think that's actually good. Yeah. So, Karayuki now off the free kick taken by the Harris County goalie. And that one, Harris County calling for a handball right there. Looks like it. Yeah, on Juan is Bilbao. Now you see the speed of Cohen Park, but that is going to be smartly booted away by the goalkeeper for Harris County. Your player of the game, Seth Coker. Yeah. And they'll, uh, he'll probably have to play a good game today to keep it close. Absolutely. And if you didn't watch the women's game, even though they lost, Harris County's goalie, Cadence Gardner, with an absolute. She had a great game Yeah, today. beauty of a game. 10 plus saves. Obviously, your team still lost 2 1, but I mean, the pressure that Auburn was applying on her, she did hold her ground very well. So now Bilbao, just unable to control it there. And now Zakiri with it, and he goes back over to Karayuki. And you look back at that Central game, and you might be like, oh, well, you know, Auburn against Central, a team with a losing record, a team that they beaten by like, you know, 10 plus points the last couple of times, uh, only winning 2-0. Is that a cause for concern? I don't think so. I think Auburn, I think Central did play some of their best balls. We see Cohen Park here trying to get to a cross. It's going to be tipped out of bounds by Harris County and throw in here by Auburn. But, uh, you know, I think that was a good test for Auburn. I think Central was playing uh, definitely above what they've played all year. But, I mean, hey, that's a Central team that you know, in any sport, Auburn, one of Auburn's biggest rival, if not their biggest rival, uh, they played a heck of a game. I think a little off guard by how well they were playing. And so now we see Andy Roberts trying to set up for a cross. And the ref blew his whistle, and they're going to say, they're going to say some sort of, some sort of penalty. It's going to be a free kick here for Harris County. I did not see it. Yeah. Points. Very, and so now they're going to see say a throw in. Pretty late whistle there by the ref. And now we're going to see another whistle. Whistle. Lots of whistles early on in this game. See if that comes into play later. The women's game was a very physical one. That was we'll fun if, to watch. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if this one is the same. So Harris County going to boot it down the field. Easily controlled by Dylan DK Karayuki. Now Michael Mikey Donaldson with it. It's going to be tipped up in the air. Still controlled by Donaldson. Donaldson trying to work against his man. And he's going to retreat back to Karayuki. Now Cobine kind of loses control of it a little bit. Armour kind of a little bit scrambling here right now. That was dangerous a little bit. Yeah. And so now Roberts can throw it in here for the Tigers. Heisler trying to control it there. And he's going to get the call. Kind of thought that was that might have been off Heisler, but he did a good job of selling it. And so Auburn will get the call, and it will be an Auburn throw in here. Now Roberts with it. Roberts. Ooh. Trying to go down line, and what a beautiful pass there to Ethan Park. Park trying to cross it in. It's going to go off of a Harris County defender, but it's going to be a corner, corner kick, kick for nice. Auburn. Some danger here early for the Harris County Tigers. And that's one thing I will say is if you're Harris County here, you cannot let Auburn get hot early. You cannot them let them score early because that just swings the momentum their way. And especially on their home field, that's not what you want to do against the yeah. Auburn Tigers team. Already hard enough to beat them on their whole home field. Don't want to give them any momentum. So Zakiri and kind of a short uh, corner kick. Not his best effort that we've seen this season. 
So Bilbao now back over to Zakiri. Zakiri kind of kind of looked like a shot, kind of didn't. Missed a little bit, and it's going to be a goal kick here for Harris County. Kind of looked like he tried to catch the goalie off guard by looking to the right and then shooting it to the left. So we're probably not the greatest. Uh, probably not the greatest decision, but I like the aggressiveness. Oh yeah, for sure. I will say that's one thing. You know, I talked to uh, Coach Ferguson actually Wednesday. Uh, talked with him a little bit about the Central game, and what he said was he did feel like his team wasn't really as aggressive as they should have been. You know, and uh, kind of said that they were, like I said, caught off guard. You know, a little bit right. by Central's aggressive nature, especially on their defensive side of the ball. And so, look for Auburn to push a little bit more than uh, we've seen in recent games here in this game tonight. So now we're going to see Sue Choi mm. try and pass it inside an offside high slip. Now it's going to go off the chest of Juanis Bilbao. Bit of back and forth here between these two teams. Now they get it over to Walton. And Walton just... Just, just a massive soccer player. I can't, I can't lie. You know, he look, he looks about six three, six four from where we're sitting. I mean, you saw right there, Auburn needing to bring two players there to try and handle them. So far, Harris County's playing really good defense on Auburn. Yeah, just not allowing anything through the cracks. So Harris County, he's gonna actually get a throw in here. Watch out, Harris County now in Auburn's attacking third. So let's see if they can score here. Or at least get something going to the goal. Taking the throw in is Mason Walton. Looks like he's going to get a bit of a run up to try and set it up in there nicely. Wow. Nice throw there, but easily headed away right there by Joel Montez. And now it's going to be Zakiri with it. Zakiri's going to go over. And now. We see Knox Heisler with a step on his defender. Heisler behind the defense. Heisler one on one on three, trying to cross it in. Zakiri trying to come back with the help, and that's going to be tipped out of bounds. Knox Heisler was a great step, but he almost got caught in no man's land there, where he was ahead of the entire Auburn yeah. offense, had nobody pass it to him. It's like a one on five. <laughs> exactly. So, would have been a heck of a thing if he was able to do something with it. Yeah. So we're going to see a throw in here and. A little bit of miscommunication by the Harris County defense, but they save it nonetheless. I saw the freshman on varsity. Yeah, very impressive. Very, very, very impressive here. This Auburn team, it's a very, unlike the women's team, I'd say the women's team has a bit more youth. This Auburn men's team is very, very experienced. And we see right here some danger. We see Karayuki just stay calm and collected, able to kick it out of bounds. It will be a corner kick, though, and some early trouble here. Uh, for the Auburn Tigers. But uh, you look at this team, a lot of seniors, and you talk to any of the players on this team, I mean, they're all just so close-knit, you know, especially this entire senior class. I mean, you look at Juanis Bilbao, Mikey Donaldson, Ethan Park, uh, Cooper Fain, uh, Dilly Karyuki, Destiny Zakiri. Knowing those guys at school, uh, nice. as you see, a great save there by Brody Coban. I know personally that all those guys are very close and hang out all the time. Uh, shoot, I mean, Juanis... Cooper, Destiny, and Dylan all go to the same church. Uh, St. Michael's is the church I go to. So, that being said, this Auburn team has the, uh, that's the word I'm looking for. They have the communication, they have the cooperation, and now they just gotta execute on the field right here. Right yeah, now. like you said, I was down there on the field earlier during the women's game, and you can just tell they're really playful with each other. I mean, just normal bro things, and you can tell they're really close, and they trust each other, and it shows during the games. Absolutely. And we're going to see Walton here. A bit a bit out of his range, it looks like, right there. It's going to go to the right. And so we're going to see a goal kick here by Brody Cobine. So about 12 minutes into the first half. Still scoreless here at Duck Sanford. We'll see if either of these teams can break that seal here in the next 28 minutes. This broadcast presented to you by HS Mass Media. If you're watching this, uh, why not, you know, drop a drop a subscribe, drop a like. I mean, might as well. Yeah, might as well. I mean, where else are you getting this high-level, high-school soccer broadcasting? Here's your, right uh, here. You player. Yeah, Cohen Park. 
And he looks over and smartly gives it off to Ethan Park. Park looking for the cross. He's going to get it with his left foot. And that was dangerous, but a nice clearance there by the Harris County defense. Went off the hands of the goalkeeper. Anytime that happens, you know it's bad news. And what a pass. Cohen had a shot on goal. Good job of keeping it unbalanced. Wow, the footwork. And we're going to see him try and cross it in here. That's got to be a penalty. And a PK here. PK for Cohen Park. And he's going to get a free shot at the goal here. And this is trouble for Harris County. You did key have player versus key player. Yeah, exactly. Right here. This is the matchup. We already saw Seth Coker with that save earlier. Let's see if Cohen can try and knock one in here. I'll tell you what, if Seth Coker is able to block a Cohen Park PK, this would be one for his highlight reel, one for his high school career. 100%. So already a momentum shifting moment in the game here. Just 27 minutes to go in the first half, 13 minutes in. And Cohen Park has a chance to put the Auburn Tigers up one goal. So we see him getting ready. The ref going to come over, say a few words. Seeing how balanced this uh, game is so far, defense great on both sides. This is huge in the game. Absolutely. I mean, and you look at uh, Auburn and Auburn Tigers defense, I mean, they are they're one of the best in the state, if not the country. Wow. And we see right there. Wow. Got it blocked, but then coming up and scoring, I actually couldn't see who it was. Was it? Was it Cohen? It was Cohen. Yeah, Cohen came up, got his own miss, and right there just putting it up and in. I mean, nothing nothing else Seth could have done there. Honestly. Yeah. Cohen Park right there getting the first goal in this game for the Auburn Tigers. Up one nothing over the Harris County Tigers. As you see the, uh, see the lights going, a great save there by Seth great Coker, save. but just... Right there. That's one of the toughest parts about penalty kicks. It's not just the shot, but if you just tap it out, he's right there and he can score. So, good job by Cohen, keeping up with the shot, getting the rebound, so to speak. And so now, 27 minutes to go here in the first half. Harris County has got to respond. They're down one nothing here. What do they have to do to try and get that response here? Um, I think they're playing pretty good so far. Made a probably a little mental mistake there, letting Cohen have a PK. But I mean. If they still if they still keep applying pressure on uh, Auburn's defense, I think they'll, uh, they'll find success. So now we see Andy Roberts with it. He's going to switch field over to Destiny Zakiri. Zakiri makes a nice move. Going to go down the sideline. Gets bumped a little bit. No call. And bodies are flying today. Yeah. Which I like it when the refs keep the whistles in their pocket at least a little bit. As you see some pressure there by Knox Heiser, but a nice move by Seth Coker. That was very dangerous right there. Sure was. So Auburn with the throw in here. Juan is Bilbao with it. And he's just going to send it back for Auburn to reset. Montez looking to boot it. He does. And no one there to go out of bounds. Yeah, Cohen got caught off sides. You saw him put in his hand yeah. up. He kind of walked back and he couldn't really go for that ball. So throw in here for Harris County. That's going to be headed up high into the sky. Now we see Heisler trying to get the steal here. Now it's going to go inside to Bilbao. Now Roberts with it. Roberts thought about it. Now he's going to take it. Wow. He gets up to Mikey Donaldson. Good Donaldson was trying to header it there almost. 30. Would have been pretty. Yeah. And so now we got physical play here between Zakiri and the Harris County midfielder. Now it's going to be Seth Coker to reset it here. Harris County trying to control the ball by Auburn, just not letting up. And now we see Cohen Park get a lane and just missing it to the left. Heck of a steal there by Park. Man, his footwork is just unreal. Oh, yeah. I mean, Cohen Park, you know, Commentated a little bit of soccer last year as well, and Cohen was honestly the best player on last year's team as well, which is very impressive. Started as a sophomore last year, and is starting as a junior this year, obviously. And he will start next year as well as a senior. Definitely a player that could play at the next level. Uh, 
Honestly, you could possibly see him play some international ball if he keeps up in his game. So now we see, and I hear Mikey Donaldson getting the steal. Now Heisler taking it, goes inside to Park. A Bilbao with space, gives it off to Park. Now down the sideline to Ethan Park, looking for a cross. Wow. Puts on some nice moves. Thinking about hesitation with his left. Oh. And booted out. Tried the cross. By Harris County. Now Walton with it. Walton at midfield. Good job of security standing his ground. But Harris County gets it back. It's a good breakaway. It was just a four on one. No one else was there to, no one on his team was there to need him. Yeah. And so, Harris County still with the ball. But that's going to be taken away there by Sue Choi. Now Mikey Donaldson with real estate. Nice move. And my man might just take that down line or pass it up to Cohen Parker down line. And he goes in to Knox Heisler. Freshman. For the goal. Auburn up 2-0. And I told you, if they let Auburn get hot early, I mean this could this could get ugly real quick. Very quick. I mean you talk about you talk about this possibly being a trap game. I mean this looks like Auburn was prepping a lot for this game. Yeah. You know? And you can see the replay here. It's an absolute masterful cross right there from Cohen Park. That is just so pretty. Inside to Knox Heisler. So two goals here. One assisted by Park and one scored by Park. And I think your uh, player, player of the game, you know, call out for Cohen Park was a was a good one to start off the broadcast. Well, if you be, if you watch any Auburn High men's soccer before this, it's it's not very hard to call that. No. One. Yeah. You can see Cohen actually with his on his left arm there wearing the captain's captain sleeve. Very well earned tonight for Cohen Park. So now Auburn trying to up it to three three goals. As if you're Harris County, you gotta try and get something here. Or else this one could get ugly real quick. So, oh. So now Juana is giving chase the ball on Walton. And now we got we got a little bit of a movement and wow. I not a not a great he tried to shoot that from about 35 yards. Yeah, oh. just a little bit out of his I mean if he made that, that would have been my 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 stat papers would have been on the floor. Yeah. I mean that would have been insane. But uh that shot right there by uh Zach Madrigal, the junior striker for Harris County, just not a smart one, honestly. No. You can sense a little bit of impatience right there in that shot. Uh, just down to nothing early. But if you're Harris County, you're not out of it yet. There's still a lot of game to play. If you're going to do that, you might get out of it really quickly. So you need to slow down, get good looks at the goal. Absolutely. Maybe not shooting it from 35 out. Yeah, I mean, you think of some weaknesses for this Auburn defense that's, you know, been so great, especially late. Uh, you know, I would say, honestly, you know, some through balls have really gotten Auburn off guard uh, throughout this season from games I've watched. And so I think that could be something that if you're Harris County, try and get something through two defenders and try and make something happen. Seeing a little bit of a little bit of volleyball here, but Auburn able to get it on the ground. Now Joel Montez with it. And Montez looking over to Dylan Karayuki. Now Karayuki Excuse me, yes, Karayuki going to go over to Zakiri. Nice two-man game there by Choi and Zakiri. Donaldson. County player down on the field. Yeah. He gets back up. Donaldson tried to go cross field, but wasn't strong enough. Now Cohen Park, look at the speed. And I feel like he's going to shoot himself here. Trying to find an opening. Gets past through two defenders. And no. Scores. Goodness. What a beauty. Oh, my gosh. I'm about to throw the headset off. I mean... And what hit the Trey Young um, celebration. Oh my gosh, Cohen Park just absolutely putting on a clinic tonight. That here, absolutely gorgeous. One of the best goals I've ever seen. You see right here. Let's start off with the footwork right here. I mean, gets past one, gets past two defenders, then just a little right foot touch, and then they this call that in the right yeah. pocket in the right corner. Man. In, in, in England, in England, the English Premier League, they call that top bends. You know, <laughs> top bends is what they call that. So. Uh, Cohen Park right there, top right corner. I mean, 
just a laser of a shot too. I mean, to be able to make those movements and get past those defenders and still have enough power in your foot to get it to the top right corner. Just I did mean, not get much better than that. Just next level. And we're gonna see right there. And they're gonna call it. Harris County fans a little bit a little bit restless here. Their team already down three nothing. And we're not even halfway through the first half yet. It's gonna be hard for Harris County to get back into this one if Cohen's playing like this. Yeah. I'll tell you what though, Auburn definitely came prepared tonight. Yeah. I mean this game did not catch them off guard. And shoot, if they play like this against Oak Mountain, I'm not gonna say anything yet, but this is I mean it is the number one team in the country. It is, it is. It's fair. It's a whole different animal than uh Harris County for sure. But uh they are playing some solid ball right now. Definitely a big improvement from where they were Tuesday against Central. So we're gonna see a free kick here from a dangerous spot here. Brody Cobine in goal. I'm assuming he's gonna shoot it here. I'm not gonna lie. A bit close to and it was almost good. In the, the in the, goal, yeah, in the field goal, in the field goal post. So, yep, missed the field goal from about, uh, about you know, 16 yards out, I'd say, 16 yards out. Give or take. Yeah, so, you know, uh, missed the extra point. But uh, Auburn gets the goal kick here. A lot of football references right there. But <laughs> Auburn up 3 nothing. 19.30 to go in the first half. If you're just joining us, Auburn has gotten to this lead off two Cohen Park goals and a Cohen Park assist to Knox Heisler. I mean, absolute stud just putting it all on the field tonight. Now Park with it again. My goodness. And oh, just goodness. loses it right there. Raising his hand saying that's on me right there. I mean, you have that type of fancy footwork. You're, down, you're bound to mess up once yeah. in a while. So now Bilbao with it. And now this is kind of dangerous there. Heisler's got speed. That's dangerous. Yeah, Heisler, like you said, the freshman starting, uh, yeah, starting on the varsity team. He is going to have a great high school career for sure. So now number 16, Force Morris, going to throw it in here for Auburn. Coming in the game for Auburn is going to be number 10, Cooper Fain. And Cohen is one of the captains of this team. The other captain is Cooper Fain, the senior for Auburn. And that one's just going over the head of a Harris County defender. So now we see Park with it. Park trying to switch fields. It's gonna go out of bounds off the head of a Harris County defender and it will be a Auburn throw in. So now Fain with the ball over to Zakiri. Now Fain just a little bit out in front of him, able to get to it. Now Harris County had numbers, but Sue Choi able to steal it away. And that's gonna go out of bounds. And it's gonna be a Harris County throw in. So Harris County slowly moving the ball down the field. See if they can make something of it. Trying to go down the sideline and Auburn just having none of it, just getting the ball out of there. Yeah, I like the defense I'm seeing from Auburn. It's just smothering anytime Harris County gets anywhere near the attacking third. So now Ethan Park with it. He's going to go outside to Park, Cohen Park. And now Heisler, he's got speed. Couldn't catch up to that one, though. Now we're going to see kind of a kind of a missed kick right there from the goalie. And then we see another missed kick right there by Mikey Donaldson. Just on the ground to the right. So it'll be a go kick here for Seth Coker and the Harris County Tigers. Just under 17 minutes to go here in the first half. Auburn up 3-0. And we're going to see Coker send it away here. And a little bit of a header there right, right there by Harris County. Now Zakiri with it. Trying to get it over to Fane. Fain was looking outside to Donaldson, got it tipped away. Now they'll reset. Kind of a dangerous pass there as well. If you're Harris County, you might need to start taking some risks here, step into the ball a little bit more aggressively, try and get some steals and make something happen. And we're seeing that would have been a great pass. Yeah. Heck of a leg there, though, by Horace Morris. 
booting it down to the other end of the field, but easily saved by Seth Coker. Horace Morris is actually a player coming back off of an injury. Really? Tuesday was actually his first game back. And so, um, you know, a player, excuse me, last Friday against Carrollton was his first game back. He actually had a leg injury early on in the year. Um, I actually got to talk to him after one of the games uh, that we did earlier in the year. And he was saying, yeah, you know, I'm rehabbing right now, but I'll be back soon. And what do you know? He's out here and he's playing some good soccer for all. Nice steal right there. So now Ethan Park with it. And Park, some nice defense on his man. Cohen coming in to help. Yeah, Cohen trying to get sneak up on him. Nice. He's getting a little bit handsy. And they're going to call a penalty, and that's going to be against uh, that's going to be against Harris County. So Cohen, Go the physical the play. Yeah, the physical play. He gets the reward. Yeah, Cohen, don't 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 mistake him. You know. Being one of the best. Mikey. Oh, and we see Mikey Donaldson's break away and Seth Coker aware and getting the save there. Cohen also the vocal leader and just really a fiery player on this Auburn team. You'll see him a lot of times, you know, just chip away a little bit, trip away at the uh, opposing players. But, you know, he can do that because he's, you know, one of the best on the field at all times. Right. So we're going to see that roll out of bounds. Like you saw earlier, Auburn is playing way more physical than Harris County right now, and it's definitely paying off, defensive and offensive. Man. Yeah, if you're Harris County right now, you got to try and match that physicality, or else Auburn is just gonna keep smothering you on the offensive and defensive end. So you see Fane here, look for an open man. Dakiri just tried to do a no look pass. It ended up not costing him, but a bit of a mistake there. Now Karayuki with it. Now they're going to reset with Kobon. And Kobon once again he missed it. Brody way off on goal. <laughs> Luckily, there was no Harris County players near. And now Cohen Park has a little bit of space. That's all he needs. Goes down line to Forrest Morse. Oh, sorry. No, <laughs> you're all good. Now Morris gets tapped away back to Park. Now over to Ethan Park. Gets it over to Morris. Morris with a nice through ball. Park looking for a cross. Anyone. Some nice defense here by Harris County. No one thought about it. Didn't get it. Now Moore's going to kick it in, and that's going to go over, and that's going to go out of bounds. And so that's going to be a goal kick for Harris County. Now when uh, Harris County does get kind of set down there, down in the attacking third, they do play pretty good defense. Yeah. It's just when um, Auburn gets on the run and kind of a breakaway, it's that's when uh, that's when the danger happens. Yeah, and so, and I feel like for Harris County on the other end, that's what they need to do to Auburn. Right. They need to try and get some through balls and try and get something that catches Auburn a bit off guard. And right there, just kind of a, trying to behind the back pass there, it didn't really work out. Now Destiny's Akira with it. Over right. to Choi, and Choi gets tapped away, and now they have numbers. Walton with it, looking for the open man. Nice defense there by Karayuki. Montez trying to clear it, and he does. Great great defense by Auburn. And Park, and that's going to be a little bit of a acting maybe, job right uh, there by Kevin. Maybe two or three more uh, rolls <laughs> yeah. than actual there. You can see him right there. He's trying to sell it, man. Yeah, no, he give him the Oscar. I mean, he got it, so just make sure he's actually good. Joel Montez talking to his teammate. Uh oh. Oh, and he might actually be down. Looks like something bothering him. Yeah. Let us not speak too soon here, Cohen, on the ground. And what looks like some visible pain. So, yeah, so they're going to send out. Coach Ferguson going to come onto the field. And scary sight here if you're an Auburn High fan. Absolutely. Coming getting checked out by the trainers. This is kind of your life on offense right now, at least in this game. And Cohen getting back on his feet. Limping. Ooh. Visibly limping, not putting pressure on that left foot. He's gonna leave the game. Yeah. And if you're an Auburn fan, yeah, that's not the sight you want to see. He's going to the locker room. Yeah. Good to see that he was able to get back on his feet. So that's something we will try to monitor. Um, throughout the game, we'll Absolutely. give you we'll give you a report at halftime. Uh, our 
buddy uh, Trent Medley going to try and ask Coach Ferguson for an update, but we'll stay tuned for that. But, yeah, and you can almost hear a pen drop here. Kind of took some energy out of the game here. Yeah, he was um, he was a real life in Auburn's offense and he was, really defense. He would come in and help. I mean, yeah, just playing playing a heck of a game. Right. Yeah. It's just uh, you can always feel yeah, like I said, the energy just like kind of sucked out of the stadium. Yeah. So we'll see if Auburn can try and overcome it. Let's see. Oh, he's not in the locker. Yeah. Keeping an eye on him, though. Coach Ferguson still is over there, though. That means he's not on the sideline. Right. And so, you're Auburn here. You're Auburn here. You got to just try and focus up and get back, you know, against uh, Harris County right here. It's like Joe Montez will pass it into Sue Choi. Choi, nice pass up to Andy Roberts. Who will save it, uh, but Harris County will control. Seth Coker. Oh, it's a goal kick. Coker, goal kick. Sorry about that. I'm back. Um, oh, you're good. Good job by our buddy Charlie McGowan there taking over the play by play. Thank you, thank you. And so you will see right here as we're going to continue to monitor Cohen's status, but right now we're playing some more soccer here. 11.15 to go here in the first half. Isaac. Auburn That's with it. Now Mikey Donaldson with it going back inside and just Cuba Perfane just not able to get that one. So now Sue Choi trying to go upfield. There's uh, your NBA prospect. In soccer. <laughs> yeah. And so, so a little bit of physical play there, but Auburn able to or excuse me, Harris County able to get the ball back. Now Walton just going down one-man show here, but Phil Montez able to tip it away. Now fighting for the ball here. That's going to be, be out of bounds. County, and yeah, Harris County throw in. So a little bit of danger here following you the You can already see, I think, Harris County's kind of taking advantage of the I injury. Mean, yeah. yeah. Cohen Park still over there. Once again, we will monitor his health as the game goes along kind of see the life suck out of this Auburn team just a little bit. Yeah. So Harris County to throw in and that's going to be booted away there by Andy Roberts. Yeah, Heisler. Yeah, Heisler able to track down the ball just smoothly gliding along, along the uh, field there. So now Sue Choi with it. He's got space. Trying to look for an open man. Yeah, it. And he gets it down line. Can he catch up to it? He does. The Destiny Zakiri is out of there. He's trying to get down in a nice steal. Nice steal by the captain for uh, for Harris County. He does kick it out of bounds there afterwards, but it looks like Parker Hicks. You can't really see his number. It looks like 17, but the captain for Harris County with a nice steal there on Zakiri. Choi just going to take it a fell, man. It's a little bit to the left. Looked like he was trying to get something to Andy Roberts, but just a little miscommunication. So a goal kick here for Harris County, and we see on the other side of the field um, – Cohen Park is back on his feet there as him and the trainer are kind of slowly walking back. He is on both of his feet as well. That is, that is a so great good. sign. It is a great sign if you are an Auburn fan. Absolutely. And so Mikey Donaldson to throw it in here for Auburn. Trying to get it into Fane oh. and he just missed it. He raised his hand. He said, uh, that's on me. He should have had that one. And so now Roberts with it. Auburn still with the ball. Oh, something. They call it out of bounds? I think so. That did not look like it was out of bounds. For specific, specific soccer rules uh, at any level, the ball has to be fully outside of the line of touch, that black line. Right. And that one looked like it skated on top of it, but the ref was closer than I am. So we'll see a punt here from the Harris County goalie, Seth Coker. And now we're going to see Sue Choi with the header. Playing some head volleyball. <laughs> so, yeah, the ball staying in the air here a little bit. Oh. You see right there, getting a little handsy, Andy Roberts. And number oh. nine, number nine, call. Logan Hutt. Andy Roberts looked a little guilty on that one. 
Yeah, Andy. Andy also another one of those high energy uh, players here for Auburn. Now we see Karyuki going down line with Zakiri and Zakiri going down line to Heisler. And it's going to be tipped out of bounds, but it's going to be a corner kick. And so some danger here if you're Harris County. Corner kick for Tigers. We've got a substitution as well. And I can't tell if that's Cohen. Yeah, I was looking over there too. Yeah. Is that Cohen coming back in the game? No, that's not Cohen. No. That's going to be... I think that's Cohen sitting or standing right there next to in Coach Pittman on the, the sideline. Maybe not. Uh, I think I see Cohen. Cohen is at the end of the bench of okay. stretching. Okay. So maybe see. that's a sign he might come back in. Yeah, we'll see. Wow. Over there, Joel Montez. Let's go. What a goal! And he hits the Sue. Cristiano Ronaldo celebration right there. That was beautiful. For Joel Montez. Off the corner kick. That was gorgeous. What a what a pass by uh, Destiny Zakiri. And then Montez able to score it with his head there. And here the crowd getting hyped there. And the energy back on Auburn's side as they are now up 4-0 wow. over Harris Happy County. Play. Just under seven minutes to go. No Cohen, no problem right now. And what a job by our camera team to able to capture that on film. But uh, yeah, so now Auburn back up four to nothing. And if you're Harris County right here, I mean, Auburn is playing some of their best ball right now. I will admit. And so you're gonna need to you're gonna need something to happen, especially before halftime. Right. If you want to stay in this game, get a little bit of momentum going to the half. If you want any chance. So now we're going to see a boot to the other end. Let's pass. Now we're going to see and that just too many of those. Uh, not great. Um, yeah, they've had opportunities. Not. They're just not. They haven't been able to capitalize. Logan Hutt there just really caught his right foot weird. Yeah, also maybe not the best decision making that they've had today. Yeah. You can just sense a little bit of impatience like they need A little bit of urgency. Happen. But, uh, Which urgency is good most of the no, time. No, it is. But but I mean, if you want to get back in this game, you gotta find, you gotta take good shots at goal. I don't think they've taken one good one today. Harris County, um, just passing around. So now Park back over to Morse, just a little light off the foot there. Harris County will retain possession. Now we're gonna see getting physical, the physical Morse here. It looked like Morse got hit in the spot. No man wants to get hit, and now that's gonna go over. Pass it in, Cobine, yeah. Just easily takes it there. Man. He's gonna wait, and then he's gonna get it. Kind of looked like Walton. Uh, yeah, stiff caught, armed him a little bit. Looks like he caught he caught Morris in the in the in the no no spot. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. And so, hopefully, hopefully he's able to recover from that. I think he's good. He's yeah. He he's he's running. He's running. He's good. But Auburn now up four nice. nothing, Zakiri. trying to make it five and they call uh, Hamill? yeah, it looked like it. Just caught Zakiri on the left hand right there. Gotcha. So now, if I'm, if I'm Harris County, I'm trying to push it right here. Like, I'm trying to send it in, try and get some head or something. You need some momentum going into half if you want just any chance against the Sovereign team. And that was a nice pass, but it just squeaks through. And it's going to be another goal yeah, kick here for Auburn. Like you said earlier, they're playing just really good ball right now. Yeah. I mean, kind of surprised me a little bit thinking about, I mean, just looking forward ahead to the number one team in the country. But, yeah. Continuing to monitor the uh, an injury update for Cohen Park. I actually do think he has an ice pack on. I can't really tell from where we're at, but if you see him at the end of the bench on the right side uh, on the ground there, looks like he has an ice pack wrapped around his, yeah, wrapped around one of his legs there. So I just got a confirmation that it is. So uh, probably won't return to this game, but we will get an injury update um, about it at halftime, see if he could possibly play in that Tuesday game against Oak Mountain because they need him for that game. Yeah, absolutely. I that, I absolutely. Mean, game of the year, one of your best players, if not your best player. And you can uh, catch it on H. <laughs> good plug, good plug. And so now Choi with it, and Choi going to go over to Ethan Park. That's a nice move. Yeah. I've seen that before. <laughs> So now Morse with it. Morse tries to cross it, and Is it's going to be a corner nice. kick. 
off the right foot of Logan Hutt. Hutt having a bit of a difficult time so far in this game. So now we're going to see a corner kick here for Destiny Zakiri. See if we can get another header. Yeah. Trying last time. As we creep under 315 to go in the first half. I mean, if Auburn gets to five here, they're halfway to that mercy rule number of number 10. So, tell you what, I did not think we would uh, no. have this score. Now. Not at all. Maybe at the end of the game, but definitely not by halftime. You see right there, some physical play. Uh, slide tackle. So now Morse with it. Morse with the room. He's going to nice cross pass. it in. Eyes. Eisler just uh, kind of a miscontrolled it Offside. right there. And I think. Offside. Yeah. Either that or handball. So, great idea though for the Auburn Tigers, trying to get a good set piece there, but it will be a free kick for the Harris County Tigers. So Seth Coker to kick it away here. That's a nice kick. And some of the fans getting into it. And so, Fans getting hot. A fan of the game. Yeah, fan of the game here will be announced. I think at halftime. We can check in with our announcer, Mr. Fane. And we'll keep you. We'll keep you up. Yeah, we'll keep you updated on who the fan of the game is. But right here, Harris County now with it. We're just gonna give it off to Cooper Fane. Just, just at times, Harris County's just been a little bit, just like they've just been a little not. Uh, just a little nonchalant with the ball, yeah. you know, not really taking care of it. And uh, and that Auburn defense, if you have any any uh, nonchalant, I mean, they'll, it's smothering. Yeah. I mean, you just get the feeling Harris County's moving just a little lackadaisical right now. It's not really. And give credit to Auburn. I mean, they're absolutely. Yeah. playing great. Absolutely. I mean, they've, they have taken the energy out of Harris County by scoring four goals in the first half. So now Cobine over to Montez. Montez trying to get down line to Morris and a nice Flip. deal there. Breakaway. Nice Break deal down. there by Logan Hutt. Hutt just going to another. That's another one. Yeah. And the, it is just on these breakaways, they just don't seem to make great decisions. Yeah. Because one of the toughest things to do, and, you know, speaking of Cone Park once again, who's still on the sideline, uh, one of the things he's great is that why he's so effective. He's a great job of stopping the ball right. when he's in transition, then getting past his defender and then being able to pass it in or shoot it himself. So. What these Harris County guys are doing there, I mean, they're getting down there, they're in a rush, and then they just boot it. And yeah. No one's there, so. Yeah, so. They could try to slow it down. I feel like at halftime that's something that uh, their coach is going to talk about with them, Coach Jeff Renner. I feel like he might have that in the game plan nice for halftime. By, uh... You see Morris trying to get it down line. That's going to go out of bounds. 19 seconds to go here. Get a buzzer here. Yeah, we'll see. It's actually going to be a free kick here. Or no, it's yeah. going to be a throw in. Yes, 10 seconds to go here. Walton. Nice throw. throw it in. And is that going to be a corner kick? If so, they're going to let him kick it. Nope. Goal kick. And that will That'll do be. it for the first half. Auburn up 4 nothing over the uh, Harris, Harris County, County Tigers. Tigers. Harris County Tigers. And uh, what did you see in this first half from both of these teams? Uh, from Auburn and Harris County. Well, for Auburn, I see um, they're really good in transition today. Um, Harris County, probably not the same like we were saying earlier. They rushed it a little bit, not the greatest decision making. Auburn, especially with Cone Park, he gets down, slows it down, and makes good decisions. I mean, has great footwork, of course, but I mean, overall, Auburn's just playing better. Yeah. Flat out. Absolutely. And uh, I mean, you no, know, Harris County uh, got to come out of the second half. You got to try and control the ball, get some good offensive sets and try and get back into this game but that's going to do it for the first half between harris county and auburn but we'll be back in about 10 minutes for the second half between harris county and the auburn tiger
got some politicking going for fan of the match, so we're deliberating. Hey, we'll make it to uh, recognize the members of the Auburn Mass Media team doing an outstanding job here. Hey, this is a round of applause for these folks. They did a great job with that video feed and some outstanding commentary. Next appreciate you guys. Why don't you make your way down to the uh, concession stand for a free combo meal, guys. Go. Yeah. 
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Doug Sanford Stadium as we're getting ready for the second half of this game between Harris County and Auburn. We got two quick updates for you going into the second half. First one, uh, Paige Martin, the forward, Auburn forward, freshman forward. Uh, fan of the game. Fan of the game, supporting her men's team after she got that helped the Auburn Lady Tigers get their victory over Harris County 2-1. to one. And so, yeah, so congrats to her. And then also some bigger news. Uh, we got uh, Coach uh, Coach Ferguson, interview with him by our boy Trent Medley. Let's go ahead and actually we have that clip right now. Let's go ahead and play that for an injury update on Cohen Park. That's good news from Coach Ferguson. He probably won't return for this game, but uh, he'll definitely be ready for Oak Mountain on Tuesday. Absolutely incredible news. I mean, obviously, you know, like you said, won't return for this game. Right. But, uh, you know, his teammates got his back. Looked like they're going to get the dub tonight. And then next Tuesday against Oak Mountain, it seems like Cohen Park is good to go. Right. So just a little bit of a Charlie horse. Great news from Coach Ferguson. But now looking at the second half of this game, you know, obviously Auburn without Cohen, but they do have a four-point cushion. What do they have to do to keep this lead and get this win? Really, what do they not need to do in this game? I mean, they're <laughs> playing great so far right now. Um, if they can just maintain, like, what they're doing right now, I mean, I don't see them losing right now. They're Ab playing great ball. Absolutely. And then on Harris County side, I mean, you know, you're down 4 nothing. What do you think they talked about at halftime to try and, you know, get – you know, fix some errors possibly in the first half. What do you think they're going to improve on in the second half of this game? Well, uh, what I saw in the first half is not great decision making, not taking great shots at the goal. And um, I don't know if they talked about it, but I sure hope they um, discussed maybe slowing it down a little in transition and trying to take better shots at the goal. Yeah, and I'll look at some stats for your Auburn Tigers tonight. Uh, Joel Montez has a goal and has one shot on goal and he scored that right. shot one goal uh also with goals knox heisler has a goal off of one shot and then cohen you know before he exited the game he had four shots on goal right. and he made two of them 50%. so yeah cohen having a heck of a night also forrest ethan and cooper all have a shot on goal tonight unable to make it but Auburn is up for nothing, and now we're getting ready to kick off the second half. Should be a good one here tonight. Be sure, though, if you are watching this broadcast, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the AHS Mass Media YouTube channel. We do these broadcasts for Auburn High School and the city of Auburn, and so be sure to give us some support as we will be finishing off the second half of this game, and then next Tuesday... We got the big one against Oak Mountain. Some would uh, say it's big. Huh? Yeah, so some would say, I mean, number one team in the country, you know. 
uh, but only covered exclusively here on AHS Mass Media will that game be showed. And so here we go with the kickoff to the second half of Auburn and Harris County. Auburn High Stalker presented by AHS Mass Media. So now Coker going to start off with it. He's going to boot it to the other side of the field. And already some some chances here taken by Harris County to start off the second half. Let's see if they pay off. Already physical right at the gates. Yeah, and Auburn obviously, you know, we've already said it a couple of times, that without Cohen, as we see right there, Walton, I mean, not a bad idea to shoot there, but just wasn't close. Just wasn't close at all. I mean, at least get inside the 18. That's, that's kind of what I'm saying. Yeah. Like what I said at the half, um, you just kind of got to slow down, yeah. try to take good. I mean, maybe you won't make it, but you got to take better shots than that. Yeah, I don't think they've got, they've taken, they've taken a couple shots. I don't think they've taken one inside the no. 18, not one. And so I've seen, I think, two or three outside of 30. Yeah, so, you know, if you're Harris County, it's just, you know, obviously it's good to have urgency. I mean, in this type of game, you got 40 minutes to try and cover four goals. Right. Um, so you got to be a bit urgent, but you don't have to be, you know, not smart. Now we see Donaldson, and it's good, but not in the goal, in the field goal post. And so now it's going to be a goal kick here for Harris County. Had an open look there for Donaldson, just, yeah. just a little bit too strong. I think we got sophomore uh, Wilmer Gonzalez in the game. Yeah, play, kind of take it in. We actually got a couple of uh, subs in this game Sorry. here. We Tarpley. also got Miller Tarpley as well. Made some substitutions I have. Yeah, for Auburn. Auburn up by up by uh, up by four here, kind of getting some of the subs in as they have the ball right now. Going down the sideline, that's uh, number 15, Ryan Nichols, the freshman. Now we see them going to the other end. Now Tarpley trying to get it. That's going to be over to Walton. Tarpley's another guy who's really tall. Oh, yeah. Even taller than uh, Walton for their team. Looks like a power forward out there. Post up. And so, also in the game for Auburn, uh, number 13, we actually don't have him listed on our roster, but he is out there tonight for the Auburn Tigers. For now, Miller Tarpley, a nice move right there. Here's Harris Just County. Gets away. And Harris County, I mean, you know, this is your time to the try night night. Auburn with their reserves and trying to get their starters a little rested. I mean, we are saying about how Harris County's not making the best decision maker, but you got to give credit to uh, Auburn's defense. Oh. It's absolutely smothering. Yeah, men swarming to the ball all night tonight. And so it's going to be a goal kick here for, or actually a corner kick for Harris County. So let's see if they can capitalize off of it. That would be huge coming out of the half. Do you see who that is taking it? Uh, I cannot tell who it is, not the number. So, Harris County about to boot it for the corner kick here. So let's see if Harris County can try and snag a goal here. And that's gonna be headed out nicely by the Auburn Tigers. Defended nicely. Yeah, good job by touchy. Ryan Nichols. Good call. I was about to say, there. it sounded like there was a whistle. Yeah. And it's gonna be a free kick for Auburn. Penalty on the Harris County Tigers. And so here we go for the free kick. Logan Jankowitz. Yep. Yeah, the sophomore getting some playing time here. Love to see it. I like seeing these uh, um, underclassmen getting some minutes. Absolutely. I mean, it makes it better for, like, you know, the future of your team as Absolutely. well. Is that high, sir, in 15? Um, kind of looks like him. Yeah, it looks, it looks like him. Has the speed, but that's actually Ryan Nichols. It is okay. another freshman, though. So. Wow. Yeah, in the same class. So Auburn team, a team that can go very deep into the roster if they have to. Do have a lot of quality players all over their lineup. And Jankowicz trying to get the steal there. Now that's going to go inside the goalie box, and it's going to be picked up by Birdie Cope. That's another thing about um, depth. We've been talking about the girls definitely 
have a great chance of making a deep run in um, in the postseason. But also, these guys are playing really good soccer right now. Absolutely. I think they could make a pretty decent run. I mean, you talk about, I mean, if there's any year two, this is the year. Right. I mean, stock full of a really good senior class. Um, you know, you saw last year kind of a disappointing, you know, uh, making the playoffs by getting exit, exiting out in the first round. And then two years ago, actually being able to host in the second round and then losing to Davidson. So, you know, this Auburn team, they have had good teams in the past. They just haven't made, been able to make that run in the playoffs. Yeah. And we'll see if they can this year. Definitely built for it, that's what I would say. And so going down line, that's going to be off the head of Ryan Nichols. Another throw in here for Harris County. Wow. And Nate booting. Walton standing next to Ryan Nichols is. <laughs> and booting it down the field. Parker Hicks. And now Harris County. That's clear. Yeah, and Auburn just still not letting up, even up 4 nothing in the second half. That's just great defense. Absolutely. Now Cooper Fain with it. Fain going to go over to number 18, who is not on our roster either. Number 18 or number 13. So now Donaldson, and that's going to be just out of reach. And offsides. Good call. Thank you. <laughs> and so 34 minutes in regulation left to go. Auburn up four to nothing and if Auburn is able to hold on to this win tonight they will move on to 11 1 and 3 it's a really good record yeah currently 44th in uh, the nation Max Auburn hasn't lost since February 6th yeah so I mean you talk about you talk about a team that's on fire right now and this Auburn team what is that 10 if they win tonight that's gonna be like 10 straight games without a loss right yeah you look at it Doing a little bit of, do a little bit of quick math right here. Looking at their schedule, um, if I can get my papers in order. Yeah, this will be their 12th straight game without a loss. That's basically two months too. We're at the end of March, so. Yeah, so this is the Auburn team that's really playing their best ball right now, and I mean, you know, they haven't taken an L since February 6th, and if they don't take an L next Tuesday, I mean, this could be an Auburn team that. Could skyrocket uh, up the poles. For Man, them. I'm excited for that game. Absolutely, I can't wait. Once again, that game will be for the women's game. Will be starting at 5 p.m. Broadcast will start around 4:45 next Tuesday, exclusively on AHS Mass Media. And that game, the men's game, will be around 7. Will be the start of kick, depending on how long the women's game runs for. Be sure not to miss either game here. Ooh, nice on the touch. AHS Mass Mikey. Media YouTube channel. And now that's going to go. That was gonna go out of bounds. Nice yeah, nice cross there indeed by Mikey Donaldson. Ah, went off him. Yeah, look, it went off his back. Yeah, back right there. So it'll be a goal kick here for Harris County. Yeah, it will be a corner kick for Auburn. Actually, a corner kick. They're going to say it did okay. not hit off of Mikey Donaldson. Love that. So, that looks like, I want to say Wilmer Gonzalez. I think so. If it's number 23, it is. It looked like it was number 23. And Correction, it will be a goal kick. it's a goal kick, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was. I mean, based off the body language of Mikey Donaldson after that play, it looked like it was going to go the way of Harris County, but the refs finally deciding on that. That was a physical Dang. play there, Ryan Nichols. They called. And they called it. Yeah. A bit, a bit too physical, Ryan Nichols there. A bit juiced up coming into this game. I like the aggressiveness. Absolutely. And I mean, you get a chance to play basically an entire half here, high school, high school soccer, right here. You got to give it your all. Yeah. The soccer team just looks more energetic than Harris County right now. They're just swarming to the ball. So now we're gonna see Parker Nichols boot that inside. It's a good pass. See if they can get something out of it. They are inside the 18. 
They're gonna cross off, actually hit off his own player. And Auburn with a great clearance right there. So now Fane, wow. good defense there, able to steal the ball. Now he's gonna switch field over to Miller Tarpley. Now some space. Could have been the handball. Yeah, I was about to say. Tarpley. Now Tarpley going down line at one on one. And he just, and wow. he just plows him over and that's gonna be that's gonna be a call every time. A little bit yeah, a little bit too much aggression there from Miller Tarpley. Completely smart from uh defender stop right there. Yeah, completely ran over Christian Resendez. Tarpley can stop some momentum. So now Parker Nick was just going to spend it here. No one's down. Almost worked last time, but yes, there is nobody, nobody around. So Coban just going to wait and pick it. So now Coban getting ready to boot it away here. Kind of a stalemate here in the first half, first ten minutes. Yeah, both these teams. You tell you can sense kind of a little tired. That first half was very, yeah. very energetic. On the, on the field, and he's yeah, he's he's in his ankle. Yeah, I was about to say he looks like he's tying a shoe. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was about to say. I mean, yeah, if it was if he was holding his ankle, it'd be some more pressing issues. But looks like he's just tying a shoe right there. Gotcha. They're gonna actually stop play for him to tie a shoe. Gotta let a man tie a shoe once in a while. Yeah. Make sure you don't trip over those things. They can be deadly. Uh, Donaldson, also kind of a smart strategy to take a breather if you're Donaldson. Not oh, saying yeah. that's what he's doing, but I mean, I wouldn't blame him. Get down, say, hey, I, am I not getting undone? And <laughs> he's taking his time for real. Yeah, taking his time. He has played one heck of a game, I will say. No, no goals on the scoreboard right now for Mikey Donaldson, but still has been all his over the field. Been, uh... Absolutely, has been a factor, and now, factor, yeah. Sorry. no, you're right. And so now they're gonna go and a little bit, little bit of a box out there by the Harris County defender, and it's gonna be a goal kick. Harris County's getting multiple stops now. See if they can uh, do something offensively, make this a game. Yeah, because right now Auburn in complete control. Yes, looking to cruise to a four nothing victory right now. Crowd's getting rowdy. Yeah, crowd's getting a little rowdy right here. Oh, oh now it. Donaldson. Oh, gosh, what a pass. We thought the Cohen Park highlight was incredible. It was, but Miller Tarpley, did he do a did he do a behind the leg? Let's see this replay. Because if he did what I think he did, put this guy on Sports Center top ten. What a cross. From so first Donaldson. off, yeah, Donaldson the cross right here. Wow. And then I think he let it go through his leg. I think he hit I can't know if that's called. I know if it don't know if it's a Maradona or whatever, but what a play right there. That was gorgeous. And Miller Tarpley. They're with talking. A, yeah, they're just offside. They're discussing offsides. I couldn't tell by the replay. That wasn't actually what I was looking for, but that was. There's been some great goals here today, Auburn. Absolutely. I mean, tar Tarpley offsides or not, that's a highlight of his high school career or his young high school career. Don't call offsides. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. The refs discussing it. I think I think it's uh. Harris Seth County. Coker, yeah, that They're initiated the conversation. Yeah, Harris County. I think the game they game do game. have a little bit of an argument, but. We're seeing some conversation continued. Let's see what they call. Let's see the replay once again here. Tarpley. And I don't know. Let's see, because the play continues. There's no way. The pass early on. Oh I don't God. know. You look you look at it. That's such a good goal. Yeah. Offside or not, man, that's difficult. Yeah. So impressive. He looked like he was definitely trying to stay in line with the uh with the right back or the left back, and they called us. And they called off sides. Man, that's a pain. Yeah, that's a tough, tough break there for Miller Tarpley. Still, I mean, you know, offsides or not, that was one of the most impressive plays we've seen tonight. And let's see if Auburn can Gonzalez avenge the nice pass offside. Donaldson. Can they do it again? Ah. Donaldson down oh, the line. No. And it's out of bounds. 
We're getting hype up here. Yeah, no. I mean, some late game, some late game action. Obviously, the score not really reflecting it, but uh, Auburn's still keeping it exciting here. Shout out to our AHS Mass Media control room, ran by tonight. It's Mr. Dillard, our CTSO, and then you also got Haley Yoon, the website director of High Def Club, as well as Carson Hester, the communications director. With that slow down replay, courtesy of them. And so that's going to be out of bounds, and it's going to be a Auburn throw in. 46 and a half minutes to go here. If you're just joining us, Auburn is up 4 0. Really been in control all game. Uh, we had two absolute highlight real goals from Cohen Park, as well as a uh, nice assist, as we're going to see a penalty here against Harris County. Cohen Park, though, if you're just joining us, also did exit the game for early on. But we did get an update from Coach Ferguson at halftime. He does have, it is just like a Charlie horse, just like a D bruise. He's going to be out for the rain, remainder of today's game, but he should be back for next Tuesday's matchup against Oak Mountain. And that's nice. going to be easily saved by Brody Cobine. Not the header. Cobines have a, has had a quietly good night tonight. Nothing's got past him, but not really too many. Um, yeah, not too many challenges. He had to. Um, yeah. It, well, this okay. Auburn defense, I mean, in front of them, you know, led by no Dylan Karayuki and Joel Montez. This has been insanely good. Yeah. Now Donaldson with some fancy footwork. Passes it right to a Harris County defender. Now Walton with it. Just a freight train in the middle of the field. Like you were saying, that defense, they just swarmed to the ball. Up out. And what know. a pass right there. And let's see if Harry yeah. can catch up to it. Yeah, just a little strong there by Walton. And easily saved by Brody Coban. We got 25 minutes to go here in the second half. Auburn maintains a 4 nothing lead. I just noticed Coach Ferguson gave uh, Dylan Karayuki the captain's sleeve right now with Cohen out of the game. And so shows the type of player Karayuki is. Next man up mentality. Do all cap are all captain seniors? Uh, no, no. I mean Cohen Park. Oh, that's you, right. you see Cohen that's Park. Right. I mean it's usually they they do switch it up from time to time. I know Cooper uh, Cooper Fade number ten uh, with the sleeve on playing midfielder. He's been a captain basically all year. But they will switch it up sometimes between players. And it's really just who the coach thinks should be the captain. There. It's usually a leader of the team and a really good player. That's Coach Bill Ferguson. Yeah. Yeah, Coach Bill Ferguson, his, his entering his seventh year as the men's head coach, also his fourth year as the women's. He's done a great job in this program. Absolutely. I mean, when he came here in, was it 2017? I mean, he said in an interview I saw actually on Alabama Opelika News, or Auburn Opelika News, excuse me, uh, it said that you know when he came here, the first thing he said was he know he doesn't think he knows that he can build a solid program here in Auburn. No he doubt knows. he's done that. Yeah, he is. He has acted on his word here, and has really built up. He's built up the women's team to basically a uh, state power. Yeah, and number four in the state right now. Yeah, getting the men's team there, uh, working on getting the men's team there slowly but surely. And uh, next Tuesday will be a great test to see where that men's team is at right now. Absolutely. Yeah, win, a win next Tuesday would be would be really good for the women's team as well, but for the men's it would be it would just it would be so game changing, more. game changing. So a throw in here for the Auburn Tigers. And now within the middle of the field here, really switch it over to the other side of the field. Tarpley, just a little, yeah, just a little short. And Tarpley. That's a deal from Parker Hicks. There's Tim. And he's down. Yeah, Parker Hicks kind of kind of falling to the ground there. Tarpley did kind of arm check him, shoulder see, check yeah. him. But Hicks, uh, just like. I think he's all right. Yeah. Kind of pleading for a call here right now, but not going to get it. Good try. Yeah, good, yeah good effort. Good effort. 
Solid act. So now we're going to see Walton take the free kick. And they actually are going to call it Auburn? Yeah, Auburn throw. Okay. I was about to say, are they actually going to call the free kick? Yeah. And Walton's they're still, okay. yeah, Walton's still talking to the ref. Walton better be careful here. He can get carded. There is talking. Yeah, he's still he's still very convinced. Which I mean, yes, it was a physical play by Tarpley, but whole game's been physical. Yeah, whole game has been physical right there, and we have seen we've seen worse tonight. Yeah. So 21 minutes and 20 seconds to go here. Auburn to throw it in. And that's going to be out of bounds off the leg of Parker Hicks. Auburn slowly moving down the field with these uh, throw-ins. And going inside and trying to... I'll be corner. Yeah, trying to cross it in as Ryan Nichols. It will go off the leg of a Harris County defender, and it will be a corner kick. So let's see if Auburn can put another... Goal in. On we what had has a nice corner kick earlier. From, um, I'm not sure who kicked it, but Joel Montez had a great header. Yeah, Destiny Zakiri. That's Destiny right. Destiny Zakiri, the corner specialist. Crossed it in. At Gonzalez. Yeah, Gonzalez with Destiny subbed out. He's going to take the corner here. See if he can get an assist on the nice night. Ball. Uh, yeah, away just from away. Wasn't a bad ball, but good defense by Harris County there. Now Auburn going to retreat and reset a little bit here, try and set up something. And just a little miscommunication there between Bill Bow and Tarpley. And Gary Yuki sending that into the stands. Went about 25 rows up. <laughs> yeah, awesome miles right now for the Auburn Tigers. Up by four as we officially hit the halfway point in the second half. 20 minutes to go, and Parker Higgs just going to send this one. And that's going to be easily handled. I was about to say that. Let me not speak too soon. Parfley throws it away. Now giving chase to the ball is Logan Hutt. And that's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be an Auburn throw in. Really quiet uh, second half other than that. Yeah. Offsides, which could have been a goal, but. Yeah. Could have been one of the best goals, if not the best goal of the yeah, night. No doubt. I mean, there's been plenty. Absolutely. I mean, that Cohen, that Cohen goal was just so nice. Yeah. Gosh, through the legs of two defenders and then top corner. Can't beat it. Yeah. So now let's see Walton. Walton wow. with us have power, but a good stop by Brody Cohen. That's one of the first uh, real saves that Kobe, uh, Brody's had to. Uh, um, yeah, like right there. I mean, like. You know, Walton, left-footed player, able to shoot it right there off his left foot. Yeah, that was a good take. Yeah. Whereas early on in the game, just weren't getting their right angles, and we're just trying to force it. Yeah. It was still a little far out, but he definitely had, like... He, he had, had a, a good angle. Yeah, he had he a did. good angle at the room. goal. Yeah. Room to offer. And so if you're Harris County, you, you, if you're Harris County's coach, you know, you got to be a little bit happier. I, I will say they have played a little bit better in this Yeah. Half. They just haven't... Uh, I haven't, been able to, haven't, yeah, found anything. haven't been able to turn it into goals on the scoreboard. Yeah, so Montez back in the game. That's going to go off Ooh. the head of Wilmer Gonzalez. Yeah. So it's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be a throw in here for the Harris County Tigers. Check it up. And Gonzalez now with it. And that's going to go out of bounds again. Throw in Auburn. And it looks like there's going to be another sub. Be Kyler. And it's going to be Kyler Rhodes coming in for the Auburn Tigers. Like I said earlier, it's it's quietly, good game from Brody. Hasn't had to do much, but uh, had a good, good one. Yeah, no, great game from Brody Cohen. You can see hear the fans cheer. Kyler Rhodes, a fan favorite around here. Sophomore. Does a lot of show choir as well. Thank you. Uh, is part of Auburn Varsity Singers as a sophomore. And so... We'll you see didn't get to catch a show car showdown. That's also on HS Mass Media. You yeah, guys. one of our biggest events every year. All things, you know, if everything stays the same as is, I'm assuming we will do that next year as well. 
but you can still watch the uh, recorded version on our YouTube channel right now. This year's show and last year's show. So Harris County with it. Some nice ball movement right here. That's Logan Hutt with it. Hutt going one on one. Now he's going to go down line and a good stop by Jankowitz. It looked like the, the offensive player for uh, Harris County wow. kind of just gave up on the play. And Kyler Rhodes, not safe. And Kyler Rhodes able to, able to, you know, get active in this game. Great to see him get some play time. Will definitely be key for Auburn in the future, especially if, you know. Ooh, my goodness. And they did not. Walton. Walton. Walton, I think, is going to stay on the ground. I do. My goodness, that looked bad. Yeah. His, I mean, his knee kind of went. I have a feeling that different ways. That should have been called here. Walton's he looks all right. Yeah, he looks all right. He looks like a tough guy. He you looks see like, it? You see what that? I yeah. Mean, that was. Yeah. Oof. No. Yeah. Glad Walton, he's all right. Yeah. Walton, a, a tough cookie. So, but I, de I definitely, if him and the reps weren't friends before this game, they definitely won't be after. For sure. So we're going to see a corner kick here. Is that Gonzalez again? Yes, Wilmer Gonzalez to take the corner kick. See if Auburn can add to that score total. Get the five here. Gonzalez across it in. And oh, a nice look right there. That Jankiewicz? Yeah, Jankiewicz. Just a little strong. Sailed it a little bit. Yeah, a little hot footed right there. But a good good look. Good look for no sure. No doubt. Heck of a quarter or a, yeah, heck of a quarter kick by Wilmer Gonzalez. But a goal kick here for Harris County. As we are now fifteen minutes away from the final whistle. Auburn still up four nothing. Max with a little less than fifteen left. Who would your who would uh player of the game? for you uh for ahs mass media player of the game you know i mean i feel like even even though he's out of the game now cohen park you know i feel like is got to be like the player of the game tonight but i'm if i'm gonna choose somebody else i think he's been a really effective player tonight's game is uh joel montez i feel like joel montez on the back end not only scoring offensively with that header but also on the back end just been able to defend and just keep Harris County just at bay. Just yeah. keep their offense at bay. So, Joe Montez, your HS Mass Media Player of the Game, at least in my opinion. I agree with you. And so oh, now probably look. And, and no, he, he crossed he it. Crossed I, it. <laughs> he will say that's a cross, for sure. I think it was. I think I, it was. Yeah. Oh, oh tried it. it. Joe Montez going for the bicycle. He would have definitely got yeah, Player of the Game. Say. And Montez was taking shot. He hurt a little bit. Yeah. Not girly. Almost kicked him in the face, but good body control there by Montez. Yeah, and no. If Montez hit that, he would have <laughs> been able to stand it right there. Yeah. yeah, player of the game. Yeah, and we will actually have an interview with Joel Montez after the game for ASOS Mass Media Player of the Game, but you can catch that interview on the Play Callers podcast on an episode that will be dropping next Tuesday at 3.30 p.m. I'll be tuning in. I'll tell you that much. And so, now Auburn just controlling the ball as they have all night long. And Harris County now just playing, playing for pride almost. I mean, it'll take, it would take a miracle, to say the least, for them to come back and even this thing up. Uh, now Montez, offside. and that's offsides. That two-player offside. Yeah. Well, Montez isn't usually a forward, but nah. can play it, and you can see him right now. He's just having fun. Yeah, having having an absolute ball. Joe Montez, the junior. Oh, here's a nice. And yeah, oh, nice look if he can save it. And he, it. he does. He's going down line, and he's gonna shoot nice. it. What a save there by Kyler Rhodes. Great save. Wow. Kyler Rhodes coming up big right there. That was probably the best save. look of the night Harris County has had. Absolutely. And Kyler Rhodes just saying no. You can see the scoreboard there saying great save. It absolutely was a great save. And so Harris County still with the ball here. 
Auburn trying to get it away. And that's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be an Auburn throw in. That's just a little demoralizing for Harris County. Absolutely. I mean, every every chance you get, it's just locked down from all the yeah. defense. I mean, even I mean back, back up goalie Kyler Rhodes coming in and has the save of the night, really, for either team. Yeah. And now we see Miller Tarpley has a good step on his defender, and he's going to cross it here to Montez. Montez, Montez one on two. And Coker. Yeah, Coker getting the save. Yeah, Coker was your uh, player to watch tonight. You know, has allowed four goals by, had a couple of saves. What would you rate his own overall performance? I mean, I said in the beginning, if, if uh, Harris County wanted any chance for this game, Coker would have to have a great game. But also what I meant by that is he needs some help offensively. And yeah. he didn't get any of that tonight. Absolutely and not. Credit due to Auburn defense, but also they just didn't have that player like Auburn did with Cohen Park tonight. And they're going to call Joel Montez for the penalty there. Once again, Joel Montez, naturally a defensive defensive mid. Mm -hmm. Getting some time, though, on forward for the Auburn Tigers. And that really speaks to, you know, the coaching style of Coach Ferguson, you know. Yeah. Let's his players do what they want to do. You know, obviously, you know, when he has to come down on him, he comes down on him, but... We actually had an interview on that same Play Colors podcast I mentioned with Coach Ferguson, which you can check out on Spotify or wherever you get your podcast. But uh, basically what he said was, you know, the way he keeps his players, uh, you know, playing to the top level is he lets them have some freedom to, you know, play it to the best of their ability. But when it comes time to, like, do what they need to do, obviously he expects them to do that. But he feels like having them play freely is what really you know gives them that edge over other teams. And now we see Montez on the breakaway, and he does have speed. Offsides. And another offsides call. Just getting a little eager. Yeah. Offensive end. He definitely was, but that would have been exciting to see Joe Montez on the breakaway. No doubt. So we've been under 10 minutes now. Yeah. 9:50 to go here in the second half. If you're just joining us, Auburn up four to nil over the Harris County Tigers. Just a great, great showing from both the men's and women's nice Auburn pass. team. And we're going to see Harris County challenging once again here. That's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be a corner kick for Harris County. I think he might have saved it. And, no, it's a corner kick. And so, but if you're just joining us, Auburn, you know, scoring tonight. Half of it has come from Cohen Park, who did unfortunately leave the game with an injury, but he should be back for next Tuesday's game against Oak Mountain. And we see some miscommunication there by Harris County. But he had two goals and he had an assist, so he yeah. can count for three. Yeah, two goals and not just any assist, a heck of a cross. Heck of a cross to his teammate, Knox Heisler. And then Joel Montez also off the assist from Destiny Zakiri on the corner kick, able to get a header in. You don't usually see that from a defensive mid, but no. he got it, and, and it's good. It's good. Sign him to a football kicker contract right there, Parker uh, Hicks. Parker Hicks, right there. Yeah, the captain for Harris County, just banging it through the uprights. So now Kyler Rose gonna kick it away for the Tigers. And that's going to go just over the head of Ryan Nichols. Now Auburn once again pressing. Parker Hicks has space, and he's going to dump it off to Seth Coker. Now Coker to boot it away. Nice header by the Tigers. Ooh, nice footwork from Tarpley. Tarpley to move it up to Dartes. And he jumped a little nice. prematurely. That was nice. From They're Coke. trying to get him that second goal. I want to see it. I do too. I want to see any goal. Absolutely. I can have. Yeah, Miller Tarpley close to having a highlight real goal, but the ref thought otherwise. Now Bilbao with it. Ooh, physical. So Harris County resetting here. Back to Coker. Montez giving chase. 
And then now he's going to be booted up. Montez has a step. He wow. dies it, and he's got to be careful. Landed really roughly right there. Yeah, this land the game, you don't want to do stuff like that. Yeah, especially if you're a starter and you got a big game on Tuesday. Gotta be a little I, more careful. I understand you're competitive, but don't do that again, Joe Montez. That scare me. So, Auburn in a bad pass right there. Not the greatest. And but Harris County gives it right back. That was nice. Of him. And that's kind of that's kind of just you know that's kind of explain today's uh, kind of story. Yeah, kind of the story of tonight's game. You know, in one pass right there, Harris County had some chances, just some poor decision making, some arid shots, and really just let Auburn run away with this one. But kudos to Auburn's defense, as well as Cohen Park. I mean, they have just been on them all night, and a really good performance going into their uh, huge heavyweight matchup against the uh, Oak Mountain. And now nice we're going to see Montez with another look, and they call him offsides again. Wow, that's and he nice scores. Goal. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Montez with the second goal of the night. And he daps up Seth Coker. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice goal. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he was just, he was a step off sides. Referees are just. Uh, yeah, referees are just not, not not really, you know, letting him play, I guess you'd say. No doubt. But we're going to see Coker booted away here for Harris County. Harpley. Harpley getting it back. Some nice moves there. And now Harris County with a chance. And some good moves, and it's booted away. Another account of that Auburn defense. Absolutely. I mean, not even the starters in right now, but no. still. Just speaks to how they're coached and how they train. Just the effort they, they play with and the, like the aggression. It's just it's fun to watch. And once again, after this game, our boy... Trent Medley will be interviewing the Asia's Mass Media Player of the Game, Joel Montez. It won't be on live on air, but it will be on our podcast, Play Callers, which is available on all podcast platforms, YouTube, Spotify, Apple, you name it. And so this game currently 4 nothing for the Auburn Tigers. Auburn looking to move on to get the record out real quick. Armour looking to move to 11-1-3 on the year as well as 6-1-1 in the in the uh, in the game. Or excuse me, 6-1-1 at, one one at home. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Doing two things at once here. Um, nice steal from Gonzalez. Harris County can just do nothing. Montez about midfield passes over to Tarpley. Controls it. Kind of just dribbling around. That defense, Montez. He's just dribbling around to Tarpley. Might call off sides. He crosses to Montez. Oh, and a collision with Seth Coker. That'll be Brian Nichols battling for the ball. Penalty or uh, whistle blows. Not sure what it's for. My goodness, that was a uh, Joel Montez and Seth Coker going at it. Yeah, I know. But you see the good sportsmanship there, oh, yeah. going up and dapping them up again. They're both studs on the field. And just mutual respect. So Seth Coker here, kick it away. I mean, it is for nothing, but. I gotta give credit to Seth Coker. He has had a good game. He has, yes. He has done. He has done everything he can. Absolutely. To try and keep his team in it. Not much and, I mean, to do against yep. a blazing hot Cohen Park. No goals allowed in the second half. No. If you think about it. So, and yes, Auburn does have their reserves in, and Cohen Park is also out. But still, an impressive feat by Seth Coker, because he's had a uh, had a full speed Joel Montez coming at him multiple times. Yeah. yeah. I know I'd be frightened in that situation. <laughs> so we see Harris County just trying to trying to 
Nice. nice. Well, man. Tyler Rhodes. Tyler Rhodes is also, he's a, having himself a night. Nice having second. himself a night with another save there. And just getting some great experience here against um, against the Harris County Tigers. And a bit of a shove there. Wilmer trying to lead his case in that one. <laughs> yeah, Wilmer, well, not the biggest guy, but he's not one to lack competition. Absolutely not. I know this summer he went out overseas and um, played some soccer. Oh, wow. Yeah, Wilmer Gonzalez, the sophomore forward for the Auburn Tigers. This Auburn does have its good, uh, you know, good list of seniors, but it does have a lot of promising, uh, promising underclassmen as well for the future. Got a few on the field right now. Absolutely. So 115 to go here in this game. Been a good one. Auburn is looking to take home their 11th victory of the year. I think it's safe to say they got this one secured. Yeah, unless unless something crazy, really crazy happens. I think Auburn's got this one in the bag. They will move to 11, one and three. Gary, she just boots it up there. And, and Auburn after this game, we've said it multiple times tonight as Wilmer Gonzalez looking to make a move. And now with space is Ryan Nichols. Nichols across it in. It's deflected. And yeah, deflected by Harris County defender and picked up by Coker. But Auburn's next game, as we have repeated time and again, will be against Oak Mountain next Tuesday at 7. It will be after the women's game against Oak Mountain that starts at 5. Exclusively here on AHS Mass Media. Nice. We have 20 seconds to go here. Harris County trying to sneak in the goal here at the end. Yeah, Auburn trying to pitch another shutout. And it would be if Auburn holds the them to zero points, as it looks like they will with five seconds to go. This will be Auburn's sixth shutout on the year. It. And it will be. Auburn wins 4 nothing over the Harris County Tigers. Both the women's and men's win, so it's a sweep. And Auburn will move to 11, 1, and 3, and will look forward to their next opponent, the number one in the country, Oak Mountain Eagles. But uh, what are some of your post-game thoughts from this game from both sides? Um, I've said it about 100 times probably this game. Auburn just, their defense smothering, and they've had a few players on offense that just showed up today. And, uh, yeah, that pulled through over Harris County. Yeah, absolutely. Your fan of the game is Paige Martin, and your HS Mass Media player of the game is Joel Montez being interviewed by Trent Medley, our sideline uh, expert. But that's going to do it here from AHS Mass Media. I'm Max Mesman, joined by my color analyst, Charlie McGowan, as well as our color guys for the women's game, Reese Kinder, Jay Nichols, as well as our entire control room, Jared Dillard, uh, Carson Hester, Haley Yu, our, our camera operator, Jake Vistozo. From all of us here at AHS Mass Media, we hope you all have a good night, and we hope to see you here next Tuesday at 5 o'clock for the Auburn women's and men's versus Oak Mountain.